Telling me to pray to a law. With some cold better killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, need a one, got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, all well, all praise to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. <laughs> Red band down a tire on the road. But my girl could forgive me living life like a star. All red bottom sitting like I walked on the scene. I'm a sad damage with the pills. Young yeah. nigga came up still running from the sis. Got his homeboy stealing out the back, so he clipped him. They're feeling down, need somebody for the lift. He been fighting with his girl because he said it down feel Mama said that he got drugs. New image on me, so they miss him. How the fuck I supposed to act with my father in the prison? Tell another nigga, listen back then, I ain't listen. Real player with some young niggas round me, creep. With some old heads out of jail, leave a nigga miss. A lot of money, but they still don't understand how I'm living. From the streets to the can, either way, I'm living. Put my rip a nigga up, one second in a minute. Tell that nigga, hit me up if he really got ten. My nigga telling me to pray to a law. With some cold better killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, need a one, got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, well, I'll to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. Red band down a tire on the road. Hope my girl could forgive me living life like a star. What I say? Put the button in the door, open up. Let my nigga out the whip. Ain't no shooting out the rain. Got the back in the front, sold up. Tell him spin around a block right before you catch a play. Came on, started selling AA. Got some dog food on me with some act in the case. Got a K right in my home if you ran in my place. Put a bullet in his dome once it exit his face. On my knees, praying to God, telling him I'm going home if I don't live up to going home. One night, I ain't go home, girl, acting crazy because she mad that I'm living like a star. Bitch, I'm straight about some trenches, I ain't never had a heart. And I'm plugged in the socket, I ain't never had a car. And you want the fancy things, so you better play your part. Told that bitch you don't work, then I swear you gon' star. My nigga telling me to praise to a law. With some cold belly killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, need a one, got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, well, I'll praise to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. Red band down a tire on the road. Good morning, ladies with gentle hands of the Book of Sports community around the world. We got another episode of the morning after coming up now. Josh in the studio, Nick is in the studio trying to fix the studio. I will be able to see chat today. I'm tweeting out the YouTube link. Hold on. Yeah, if you guys don't like that um, that NBA Youngboy song, you need to get your brain checked. Because it might be my new favorite Youngboy song and I'm hand up. A young boy guy. We just need birdies. I don't know if anyone has seen, but I just posted the, we just want some birdies. Prize pick century. We're going to talk through it a little bit here because I want Josh's opinion on it. He hasn't even seen it yet. Um, Hold on. Let me just tweet this out really quick, guys. Mm, and we're good to go. Okay. Now, listen, um, Josh, just want birdies. I want you to hear my master's prize pick century. And I want everyone that's in the chat right now to tail it. And I want everyone that's in the chat right now to DM me. A picture of you telling the prize picks entry with the timestamp, and I'll pick one winner to give a hundred dollars to. Let's do it. If it hits. So we're rewarding people in chat. We're rewarding people in chat. Yeah, I know that's 2018 one. That's my bad, man. That's my bad. My NBA Young Boy is I have this playlist called Chill NBA Young Boy that someone made on Spotify, and I listen to it every day, and that one came on. And uh, let me tell you something. Ish- <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievably good. All right, Josh, you ready for my master's prize picks entry? Let's hear the goat Brooks Kepka okay. more than three and a half birdies. That feels doable. Yeah. Very. What is that? 69. We can get bogeys too. Right. Doesn't even matter. I'm smart. Jordan Spieth more than three and a half birdies. We're going to talk about those fingers, but I think yeah. today might be his day. Could be. I feel like no one's talking about him. Dude, I think anyone with three and a half today is doable. You know what Jordan Spieth feels like? Jordan Spieth feels like the Purdue of golf. <laughs> just <laughs> really high mean, expectations yeah. and no one's talking about him this year because they're expecting him to flop. Yeah. I mean, he just, and this been, might be the year. He hasn't been great. The last couple of years are consistent, I guess. And then I feel like we had to do it. Shane Lowry, more than three birdies. I mean, I, we had to. We I have him that. to win the goddamn tournament. <laughs> I feel like we, we like had that. to. Yeah, what do you think about that? I like that a lot. You like all three of those? I do. There's what is this three? Here? Shane's yeah. three. Why is he three flat? I don't know. It was supposed to be really windy and shitty weather today, but 
I don't think it's. They said it was going to rain a lot. It just wet. Yeah. It'll Isn't be that good for the boys that like to? <clears throat> yeah. Throw darts. So Brooks might be. Could be. An auto. Could be. Might be five to six birds is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, I had. To There's a it. bunch of guys birding right now. So. In the first couple holes. <laughs> Let's go. Purdue still Let's catching see. strays. Um, Syrup. Here's the thing. Yeah. They will never stop. Yeah, they're going to catch strays till next tournament. I got news <laughs> for you. Did you see that kid that's their six-man entered the portal as well? Gillis? Yeah, I saw that. He freaks me out a little bit. Why? I don't know. Just that tattoo he's got. Yeah. I don't know. He freaks me out a little bit. I don't know <laughs> why. Um, Listen, we're going to start off with the what in the world. We're going to talk about what happened in the news last night. Then we got a full slate, and I have my favorite bet of the entire week. I don't know if Josh is aware. But I have my favorite bet of the entire week. It might be on prize picks. Might not be on prize picks. This is brought to you by SeatGeek. Run the what in the world, Josh. What in the world? Mikey and Josh. We talked about what happened in the news last night. First, I want to start off. Rest in peace, OJ Simpson. R.I.P. R.P. O.J. Simpson. Do you think he did it? Uh, you know what? No, I don't think he did. Wow. I think he had something to do with it, but I don't think he did it. Wow. I would just love, obviously, you know, rest in peace, not trying to talk about the dead or anything, yeah. but I think it would be all time if he just left a note that either just said he did or didn't. <laughs> that would be all time. If it was like, I did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But rest in peace, O.J. Simpson. What a running back. What a running back. I mean, Made the Bronco one of the most famous cars in the world. Great <laughs> great NFL career. Also, yeah. let's talk about it. By the end there, he would he was kind of a troll. Oh, not kind of. He definitely was a troll. And I'm not going to lie. I fuck with the troll. Yeah. I fuck with the troll. So I like the troll. I like the troll bit. Um, I mean, rest in peace. RIP. It was prostate cancer, right? Yeah. I think That's he was, scary, man. Get your prostate checked. He was also the first... Uh... Running back to go for 2K, I think. I believe. Was he really? I think he was the first ever in the wow. NFL. I mean, yeah, he did it. I just want you to know. <laughs> I just want you to know he did it. But that's crazy. I didn't know he was the first one to ran for 2K. Yeah, I think so. I Holy think shit. Right. 14 games. No way. That's what someone just said in chat. Well, he was like a bulldozer. Yeah. That's crazy. He was like Derrick Henry. 2K Derek in Henry. 14 games. That's, yeah, that's actually insane. insane. That's they must crazy. just had no I mean, the defense was just... Yeah, they weren't having fun that day. Yeah, That's I mean, you're sure. shitting your shorts every time he pulls up <laughs> with the ball. That's nuts. Um, but yeah, rest in peace. Definitely did it. Um, was kind of a troll. Had a great Twitter presence. So I'm going to miss that. Yeah. Going to miss that. Um, hopefully his family's doing all right. Putting him in my prayers, of course. Um, did you see the funniest interview of all time? <laughs> what was it? Coach John Calpari. Oh, yeah. In his introductory press conference. <laughs> that was unreal. I just want to play the, the audio for you. We don't have to show the clip. I just want to play the audio for you because it fucking killed me. I'm jacked about another opportunity. Like, I'm like, let's go. Now, I met with the team. There is no team. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that might be, I'm not kidding. That's my top one when it comes to like, interview, <laughs> introductory press conference. There is no, I just love that he went now. Like as if he was about to say something crazy. Yeah. Now, I met with the team. There is no team. Like just like, <laughs> that, was, he, that was almost like comedy level setup. Like yeah. Shane Gillis, Kevin Hart level setup for like a bit. Yeah, that was great. Now, I met with the team. There is no team. Like what? <laughs> Dude, that might Why do you even say that? That's got to get you pumped up if you're an Arkansas fan. Like he doesn't give a fuck. But like, I just thought that was so funny. He's like, I'm he's jacked do whoever up. He wants. He's gonna do whatever he wants. I just love the way that I just love the way he worded that. Like the yeah. spacing, the yeah. tempo. Like yeah, that was, that was literally a clinic in stand-up comedy. Because he was like, listen, I'm jacked up. I'm ready to go. Now I met with the team. There is no team. <laughs> like, <laughs> why? like, why even say you met with the team if there's no team? Yeah. I don't know, but that was hilarious. I will say though, I think the real problem is the state of the NI on the transfer portal. Because the fact that a coach can now go, like get a job and it's just an empty roster is crazy to me. Yeah, like that's not okay. Like I even mean, if you're John Calipari, that's happening at every college across the country. Yeah, like you got to walk into a team and rebuild spots one through eleven, one through twelve. 
I think if which is nuts to if me. If there's one dude who can do it, it's definitely him. No, for sure. Like if I'm an Arkansas fan, I kind of love that there's no team. He gets clean slate. Yeah. You don't have to deal with you know the bottom transition period of rosters, but the fact that you have to walk into a team now and literally rebuild one through twelve is crazy. Yeah. It's like, that's just it's insane doable though. Like I mean, Mizzou did it last year. I knew I was. I might catch some heat for this, but Mizzou did it last year with Dennis Gates. His first year, he just brought. Like, literally, I think we had one player stay, or two players. It was Kobe Brown and Kobe Brown's brother were the only two guys that yeah. stayed. And then everybody Ooh. else were transfers. So, who knows? You can do it. It's just hard to sustain it because they're all going to be transfers. You yeah. just need to get a great class in two years mm-hmm. to sustain it. Because you know he's going to get guys this year. Like guys well, It's just crazy guys. to me that, like, back in the day when you got a new job, you at least had the freshmen and, like, the sophomores that yeah. the coach, like, brought in the year before, two years before. You, he's literally walking to a building. There's not a team to have a team meeting with. Like, yeah. that's why he's like, now they're met with the team. There's no team. Like, the, that's insane to me. Yeah. Like, you have no, you have no building blocks. Like, that's crazy in a college sport to literally have to build one through 12. Like, you don't even have a guy you can lean on to be like a senior that's like, oh, yeah, I'll stay. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even have a pillar to lean on. But I also think what a great situation to be in because now you set the culture. There's no leftovers. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I yeah. think the hard part of setting a culture is when there's leftovers in that roster, in that locker room that aren't used to the way you do things. So I think that's great. He gets to set the temperature. He gets to set the culture immediately year one, which I don't mm-hmm. think a lot of coaches get to do. That is true. Um, Did you see that the number eight player in the country? So The Kentucky kid? Yes. But did you know that that kid was between – my fingers. That kid was, was between Missouri and Kentucky. And now he's back. Are they saying Missouri? I mean, I the know center, I've been right? saying anything about, about the center, the big man. Yeah, Quintance or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's fucking good. Yeah, <clears throat> he's. And good. I mean, I, I mean, I don't. I haven't seen anything about him going to Mizzou, but it'd be pretty sick. I'm sure a lot of these guys Definitely that decommit to from Kentucky are just gonna follow. Yeah, Cal. probably. Like, it's not like he went to a worse program. But honestly, though, like it's kind of hard. Like if he was like between those two schools, like Kentucky and Missouri, I wonder how much of it was the school and how much of it was the coach, or if it was. I'm sure it was both, but it's the coach, dude. It's the coach because yeah. he goes into your living room and now his pitch is five of the top ten players in the NBA I coached. Yeah. So true. do you want your son to go pro? True. And by the way, he's got Tyson Chicken money, Jerry Jones money. Like, he's got everything. Mark Moran, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? I see you guys in chat today. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know. Like, does he turn Arkansas into a powerhouse? Are we going to be looking back in five years and be like, wow, Arkansas is a premier college? I mean, they're going to get all the guys. Did you see that, that interview with uh, – Boogie. Oh, he already said he wasn't going to go to Arkansas. I didn't see that. Oh, JQ said that. Let's oh, go. So maybe Mizzou. Next up. That would Next be, up. That would be incredible. Next up. That'd be incredible. Did you see Boogie's interview though Mm-mm. about Cal? He was like, he said that Cal is Dion is the Dion of college basketball. Like wherever he goes, players will go just oh. because of who he is. Yeah. So. He didn't seem too worried about it. Like he thinks that he's still going to get well, it's everybody. He's so many NBA products. It's yeah, exactly. Hard yeah. To, like not hear that when you're in a living room and you're For a parent sure. and your kid's dream is to go pro and he goes, um, Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, Devin Shea Booker Gilders didn't even start from there, and he's a top ten player in the league. An MVP front runner, SGA, like my coach. Like there's just Jamal, no- like literally everyone. Jaron yeah. Fox, Bam Adebayo. Like there's so many guys. Yeah, even Malik Monk, who's like mid, like mid in the mm-hmm. NBA, but like. Mid monk, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess he's mid, but <laughs> good, he's still pretty good. Good. Um, did you see Jordan Spieth's fingers? Yes, I did. What Those causes are... that, dude? I don't because that is foul. I really don't. I was know. thinking about holding a golf club, like, I guess maybe if he's doing that with his thumb and putting pressure on his fingers, it could create like a weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like his ring finger, dude. Like, his ring finger was one that was messed up, so I don't even know, like, how, yeah. Like, I have no idea, dude. His fingers looked gnarly. Can you pull it up on screen just so they even know? Yeah, I can find it. And I also saw Cal get off the plane in Fayetteville. I'll tell you what. And that's a big difference from Lexington. And I think he's going to be a little shocked. You think? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But wait, pull that up, dude. His fingers are mangled. Like, what even causes that? Literally no idea. Like, I, oh my God. <laughs> Dude. I type in Jordan Spieth on Twitter, and the first tweet is Trent. I've got three units on Jordan Spieth. To win. <laughs> three units on a Masters bet when you don't bet golf like religiously is insane. Why can I not find it on Twitter? 
I think the Masters account literally tweeted it. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It just like not. Either way, I mean, his fingers are disgusting. Like, I don't understand how that happens. Yeah, no, I have no idea how that happens. It's also just like, they're like, oh, here we go. Mangled, dude. I got it. Like, they look like an offensive line. Okay, this doesn't look nearly as bad, <clears throat> but they aren't good. It's a different picture, but same shit. Mangled, dude. Here we go. Mangled. Oh, 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 oh. This guy. You could see it. It's like not. I mean, they're definitely not straight. Dude, I mean, they're like gross. that one finger. Do you see this? They're, they're coming... gross, dude. Yeah, actually. Like, disgusting. what is that, though? I don't know. I Are don't they know. saying it's warts? Warts? It, it looks like a cyst on the yeah, side of his think, finger. Do you think they're cysts? Like, I don't what know. is that? I really don't know. Do you think he can swing the club with that? For sure. That I assume just, that they're, they've been like this for a long that's time. That's just insane to me. That's literally insane to me. Yeah. What else happened that you saw? Um, Rashi Rice has a warrant out for his arrest. Yeah, so how does that work? Because I thought he turned himself in. I don't think he did. I saw last night that he has a warrant out for his arrest in the Dallas area. Isn't that crazy that happened down the street? <sighs> down the street, Josh, I drive that road no, every yeah. day. Yeah. Like me specifically. <laughs> what was he doing, dude? I don't know. And then like, Dude, he might go to, like, jail, jail, like, for a minute. But my thing is, he didn't kill anyone. Yeah, but he had all those guns in the back of his car. But they didn't find any of the guns. We'll see if they find Him them. Him and his buddies left with the bags. We'll see that. So you don't know what was in the bags. Yeah. I think his lawyer is going to get him out of this, and it's going to end up being community service and everything like that. I mean, obviously, horrible. Yeah. You know? But. Just so dumb. What are we doing, man? I, like, when, like, when is it going to get figured out? You know what I mean? Yeah, I really don't know. These guys make way too much money to be this dumb. Like, I just don't. I mean, we've talked about it. I just don't understand the disconnect of I've worked my entire life to get here. Why act like an idiot once you're there? Yeah, exactly. And it's not even like I'm sure that his contract isn't. And even if you like watch the video, he was driving like a fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. Like he literally just T-boned the girl and like drove her car off the road. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? I literally have no idea. He's yeah. He's only making like one. He's got three point five million dollars guaranteed in his contract. So like, and that's a lot of money, right? It's a it's lot a, of yeah, money. Yeah, it's a ton of money. But, but like, why are you acting like a fucking idiot? That's what I'm saying. It's like you literally have to play two more years and you get, or we got, I think he was like a third round pick. So two more years and you get paid, like paid, paid. I couldn't agree with this, but and more. I'm not whack or rob, whack or whack or whack or. He literally has the best situation going on. He's got the best quarterback ever throwing to him, throwing to him. Wake up. Yeah, and he's you already won a fucking Super he Bowl. He was the number one receiver, dude? too. Like, he was the number one receiver on a Super Bowl winning team. And by the way, bringing Hollywood Brown in, that's 1A, 1B. Like, you're not a clear number two. Yeah, no, no. Whoever wins that job is number one. Like, you could still be number one with the greatest quarterback of all time, and you're young, and you have three more years. You could be looking at two, three more bowls. Yeah, and they'll sign, they could sign him for, I don't even know. He's, so, why are we coming back to Dallas driving like a fucking asshole? I don't know. I really don't know. That is just so dumb to me insane it's, it's weird I, like it some players are so different like you see like lucas like comes here just like hangs out all day like actually trains hangs out like Works out, yep. no dumb shit no dumb but, like shit. i don't know who knows it's just like insane to me because you see it every year especially in football you see it every year every single year like what are you doing why is there no why is there never anyone in their circle going hey man maybe we shouldn't be driving yeah, maybe, 90 miles yeah, exactly. per hour on a 4 p.m. on a Friday. Yeah, that's just like who you surround yourself with. Like, dude. what are you doing? Like, if dude? I if that were my friend and he was in the NFL, there li I'd literally kill him if he did that. It's like, what are you doing? But, uh, yeah, you're driving a Prius from now on. Yeah, <laughs> kids with money get crazy sometimes. I mean, you're not wrong, right? I mean, it's easy sure. to sit here from the outside and judge, but I'm sure if I had money coming into my bank account like that and I had nice cars and a nice house and already won a Super Bowl, I'd probably act a little different too. I'd so act I don't blame him, but I'd probably I act him. different, but I wouldn't act like an idiot and like put people's lives in, at risk. Like that's yeah, the in video. your own. Like it's not just like it's not just other people. It's like his and his friends, everyone that he's with. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I don't get it. Because players with insane talent have people who make excuses and cover for them their whole life, so they feel untouchable. That's fair. Yeah, and I mean, also, you know, I've never walked a day in his shoes, so you don't know. Right. It's easy to judge. I feel like we've said that already a couple times. Yeah. I've never walked a day in his shoes. I don't know where he came from. I don't know how hard his struggle has been. So I'm sure I'll never understand that part of it. But I think there is some common sense to be like, dude, don't put your career at risk. Yeah. And your life at risk. You know what I mean? Yeah. For but sure. um, I've never walked a day in his shoes, so I can't really judge. But I mean, it's also upsetting because I'm a fan of his. 
Yeah, exactly. Like I like. Like him. I'm a big fan yeah. of him. He was one of like the two players that I like up Chiefs. Like uh, th- I'm a huge fan of his. Yeah, and he's good, dude. That was his rookie year, correct? God, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Straight out of SMU, he's a Dallas guy. So it's upsetting because I like him. I liked watching yeah. him. I think he's sick with Pat Mahomes. I like when Pat Mahomes has sick wide receivers. Yeah. Like Juju and them, that sucked. Rashi Rice was sick. Yeah. Was so sick. that was also why it's a little upsetting. He was your guy, too. That's like an all-time Mikey guy. Oh, literally? All Mikey team. All, Hall of Fame <laughs> Mikey guy. Um, What else do you hear about? Uh, I don't know if you saw this, but Scotty Scheffler's wife might go into labor this weekend, and he said that he's going to leave the Masters if that happens. Well, I want to make a call to someone after hearing that news. And I want you to know that if he starts the tournament, which he's gonna, and he withdraws the winner, like him to win outright, bets count as losers. Like you don't get a you don't get a push. Yo, yo, Trent, you're live on air. I just wanted to ask you one question really quick. Um, who do yes, you? I know the Chiefs are plus check. No, no, no. Who you? Who did you bet to win the Masters? Uh, whale on Scotty, and then a sprinkle on uh, Speed, and then a unit on Sanjay Hemothy. Are you aware that Scotty Scheffler's wife is insanely pregnant, and if she goes into labor, he's going to withdraw, and if he starts and plays one hole, you're going to lose that bet? <laughs> I'm very much aware. <laughs> and you still were like, I'm going to click that button? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Josh just told me that. I didn't know that was a thing. That's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit wagers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one you could have just avoided. Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, have a good uh, Thursday. We'll be seeing it, <laughs> dude. That's crazy that that's allowed. Yeah. Do you think the I mean, books know how like how dilated she is, and they're like, I think I think he'll be fine. I think it's just like one to three weeks she's due. So like, it oh, could okay. be like it could be this weekend. Most likely not. So, if your wife was pregnant. And you were playing the kind of golf he's playing. Mm-hmm. Opportunity possibly to win the Masters. You're the favorite. And she goes into labor. Are you withdrawing? Yeah, I'd withdraw. If, if I'm him, I'd withdraw because he already won. So he already has lifetime exemption in the tournament. So like, mm. you're not playing for that anymore. You like, you can go. just go back play next year and the next year you and the next two. year and the next year. What's up? But you could have two. You're playing good golf. Yeah, but I mean, he's playing. He'll be playing good golf the rest of his you're life. Playing good golf, Josh. I know. You get a small window as a golf. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know about that. He's that good. You withdraw like, though, you'd be like, yep. yeah, for sure, dude. I don't know. I might dig in for sure, like, babe. You got it. If if I won, like, what if, if you were playing well? What if we're on like day three? You're in the lead by like five strokes, and she's like, I'm going in labor. I don't know. I really, I, I would still leave. I think I would still leave. Dude, also someone said Bryson's on fire. I might take my heels in and say, um, all right, yeah. Wait, what, what is Bryson doing right now? I told you I, if you guys watched the show yesterday, watch the clips. I told you three under through three. Three under through three is fucking insane. I told you my golf guy knows. Like my golf guy is good at betting golf. And I knew the minute he said Bryson that I'd be in miss. Like wow. I knew he'd be in miss. I wow. knew he was gonna be good. I knew he was gonna be good. Fuck. <laughs> if it was really Bryson this year and it's that easy, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, I mean. I mean, Maybe not pissed because good you for took the golf a rank? guy. No, you didn't. I took Brooks and Shane. That was the golf guy's pick. I know, but I thought you were gonna tail the golf guy. I should have tailed the golf guy. Fuck. Well, I <laughs> wanted everyone to have their own bets. It's like the tournament's all, over. Like, He's three holes in. The tournament's already over. Yeah, the he tournament's already over. Like, fuck, missed out on that free money. <laughs> all right, should we serve some slate? Should we get crabs in here? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Grabby baddie. Slate surfers. We are going to serve some slate and crabs this year to do it with us. What's going on, crabs? Happy Thursday, man. Happy Thursday. Almost the weekend. Counts for me. I don't know about How you How you guys, doing, brother? We're here. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We got the Masters on all day. We got a little delay, which is huge because they start that shit way too early anyways. <laughs> that is huge. I'm looking to lock in a little, uh, not a squad ride, but a little play for the weekend. I think I'm going to take a stab at Yakim Neiman to finish That's top funny. 20. Any thoughts on our guy Neiman? I feel like he had really short odds. Nobody's talking about him. Nobody cares. He's getting swept right under the rug. Honestly. No, Krabs, you know that I love that. Yeah. You know that He's I getting love swept. that. Wow. That's your master's thing? That's your master's pick? I think I'm going to take him plus 100 to finish top 20 and ride that this wow. weekend and see what the fuck happens. Look, I'm no golf pro. I'm no golf sharp. Okay, my guy's Phil. I'm going to ride him for the vibes and see what happens. He came in second last year. People forget. 
he's probably not going to fucking win. Okay, he's old as shit for the vibes. Have to take it. But Yakim Neiman to finish top 20 plus a hundo. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas here, Mikey. Yeah, people we'll don't know that Joaquin Neiman is a top three ball striker in the world right now, and he's not three. He is two. He might be two. <laughs> he might be one. What an insane he 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 ain't second one. best he ball one. striker. He's not one. I mean, Scotty's got one, but he's two. Um, he's right there. Josh, sound the alarms. Do you know how to sound an alarm? Do we have an alarm we can sound? Is it... <laughs> Lauren says she's got a two-piece for us. Going to need that stat. <laughs> Going to need that stat. You're gonna need yeah, that. Like need get that. an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> How would I do that? Well, I was hoping you'd think on your feet immediately did exactly what I wanted you to do, which is make an alarm noise with your mouth. But Lauren has such as two piece four is gonna need that immediately. Um, crabs, there is approximately four baseball games on, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do in them. Are you ready? Yep, go. Um, Phillies Pirates over, Rangers by two, and the Red Sox. He might not like any of those. <laughs> that, might, that might be an 0 3 card, folks. Uh, I cannot confirm with Oh, here we go. Okay, Ozuna run and Bobby Witt fantasy scores. Okay, hold I'm on. I'm okay with Bobby Witt today. Bobby I'm okay with Bobby Witt, Witt today. What do you Ozuna's think about kind of Ozuna? Shit, that's, but, that's Lauren's two piece. Um, oh, that's her two piece. Oh, what, what do you think about Ozuna? Ozuna run? Yeah, that's about a start. We need to get that in now. All right. I mean, if Lauren's back in the zone, I can get behind it. He's not my favorite player, but. Uh, be wit, wit. All right, I'm locking just, it in right now. Bryson just went in the bunker. Azuna, more than half a run. And Bobby Witt fantasy score? Yep. This is important, chat. Hold on. Everybody lock this in. Yeah, everybody pause relax. We pause for this. Everybody relax. We pause for this. This is important. Um, all right, I'm in. Psych. All right, I'm in. Wow. A Lauren two-piece live on the show. We don't get that very often. Mm -hmm. All right, Krabs, talk to me about baseball. That shit's going to smack in the jaw. Why don't you like what I just said? What, what, what do you not like about that? All right, I'm in. I had to get that in real quick. Like two-piece from Lauren. <laughs> okay, I'm in. W's. All right, I'm in. Um, look, we can talk about this games. I'm happy to. Uh, the Red Sox game is sketchy as heck. Um, you said you like the Sox on the ML in that one? Yep. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm not a big gray rod guy. Whitlock has been nails, you know, in the beginning of the season here. I wouldn't hate a little Red Sox ML Sprank after the O's stole one. Um, over in Pittsburgh, are, this Jones kid pitching for the Pirates, Mikey, is kind of nasty. Fuck. They don't have his strikeouts up on prize picks, I think, because they're trying to figure this kid out. But he's been in a strikeout machine to start the season. He gave up a couple solo dolos, but... He might be like that, and Ranger Suarez has looked like shit. I think the Pirates score some runs. I like Pirates' first five. Um, but I Ooh. hope that Jones, you know, doesn't throw a fucking no-hitter and end up cock-blocking you from that over. But Ranger's kind of a Turk toss. Yeah, Ranger's been looking like ass recently. And the Pirates' bats look good, especially against a lefty. Everyone besides O'Neill Cruz should benefit from that in that lineup. So, um, yeah, I I'm with it. Let's hope most of those runs come from Pittsburgh early. Oh, dude, Jared Jones looks like a bucket. Early. <laughs> Shit. A bucket. Shit. So, Krabs, I've been I've been letting everybody know um, on the show that we're trying to get into baseball, or I'm trying to get into baseball, so they're learning with me. We went two and three yesterday. We have yet to have a positive day. So I'm okay with losing baseball bets because I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to be better at it because I want to be betting baseball during the summer and have something to talk about on this goddamn show. Sure. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that one feels like a spot where I might have been wrong. <laughs> Mike, you just got to find what works for you, man. Like, everyone's got shit they like to bet on. Lauren's got the two pieces. Trent, I mean, who knows what he's betting on. He's got six <laughs> pieces and large parlays, right? Maybe we keep him to the side. But, you know, Javon likes doing, you know, his POD square on prize picks. Jelly, obviously, hockey and shit. But, like, you, for MLB, you just got to find what works. You got to find a category that works. For me, like, I really fuck with just grabbing the weirdest hit-run RBI squares that I can possibly find up on the board that have no business being there, and those typically turn green. You just got to play around with it and start small um, and maybe start with one category that looks cool or fun to you. Maybe you start with total bases. I don't fucking know. Uh, but there's definitely money to be made this summer. That and and, um, I'm not going to say it, Krabs, but someone said it in my uh, – someone said it in the chat here. Could it be possible that we get a Castellanos ding-dong after O.J. Simpson passed you away? You know, it's definitely feasible. <laughs> it's definitely feasible. Um, and I'm Is it feasible that Cassianos might take one 500 feet because O.J. Simpson passed away? I plead the fifth on that one. I can't <laughs> confirm or deny. 
Okay, but I would not be taking his no home run today. Don't put that <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you what. I'm taking his home run today. I wouldn't be taking him in any no home run lights, Trent. <laughs> no. All right, so those are the three that I like, Craps. I think, well, now that you, you kind of talked me off the Pirates release really over, if that kid is a bucket. Um, the Red Sox was like a moose shit wager, but I feel like the Rangers buy two against the Athletics. Like, why don't I just take that every time the Athletics are playing? I'm a little bit worried about Gray. Gray's been getting teed up for the Rangers. Uh, the A's might show some heart and put up some runs in that game. I think that might be the over that you target. I've got that on the sharp report for BTL coming up here. I think we get runs from both sides, but I'm a little bit worried. JP Sears uh, could have an edge in this game. Um, against Gray with the way he's been looking. Gray looks terrible. Both these pitchers look bad. Totals up to nine and a half. I think we get runs from both sides in this contest. And we know that ace bullpen is absolutely new shit too. So this game could be, you know, um, you could have seven or eight runs in the eighth inning. And this could still easily cash if you take that over because of how bad the fucking bullpen is. And if the Rangers are going to be up big, like you're saying, they're not going to have their A arms in there either late in the game. So maybe the A's put together a couple lates as well. I like runs in Texas tonight. I also think the Oakland bats might come to life a little bit early. Lawrence said the A's own us, man. I don't mind it. Yeah, that's weird. Some some of these small teams, they just they play well against the big boys. I don't know what it is, but I guess the A's have Texas number. They've looked pretty good this whole series. I wouldn't be trying to get cute back in the Rangers. It, it looks like almost like, uh, what was it, when Merrill Kelly was pitching for the Diamondbacks against the Rockies a couple days ago, and they were minus 185, and it looked like the freest bet ever. The minus one and a half should be air. It was like minus 100, too. They end up winning by one. I could so see that happening in this Rangers game where the Rangers end up squeaking out a win by one and not covering that run line at home. I can Krabs, I'm going to shock you, but we were actually on that. Okay, there you go. <laughs> see? So you know exactly what I'm fucking yeah. talking about. I'm going to shock you, Krabs. We were on that. <laughs> and I was on it too. And I, you know what? I squared up and I took it and it was absolute cake. So I was there with you. Um, <laughs> but shit. Shout out, Kitch. Um, Astros or Royals, Krabs. That one hurt. Um... Don't let the Royals get hot, Mike. They've won six in a row. Wow. People okay. forget. Okay. People forget. Could we'll be wrong today, with that though. read as well. Okay. We'll fade them today, we though. We're taking the Astros. We're mm. fade. Yep. We're fading them. Give me That's hash what brown I was going to say. Bump. Give me hash brown on the bump. Big fan of hash brown. I like his game. <laughs> um, he's been pretty mid so far, but I think he bounces back here against Singer, who's been fucking nailed so far, but he's Mr. Inconsistent. So I think he regresses. Looking at this line, I love that Houston opened up minus 135. I think they end Kansas City's little streak here. I hate to say it, chat. I know that you know, you're all Trophies fans. We like backing this team. They're swaggy. They're on fire. They're fun. They're young. Bobby Witt, he's going to do his job today. But I do like Houston on the ML in this contest. Krabs, can you give me like three MLB teams to look out for that are like way better than they are or should be? Like I feel like the Pirates are up there from what I've seen this year from Pittsburgh. Yeah, but they're going to regress. They're not going to be like that. Let me give you let me give you some teams who are getting off to a nice start who could actually yes. be solid and maybe make the playoffs here. Okay. Yes. Um, you know the Tigers, they got off to a great start and they kind of cooled off. Okay. That pitching rotation, if they can stay healthy. If guys like Jack Flaherty, whose arms fall off his body, you know, every fucking season, if he can stay healthy this year, they've got a really good rotation, a really fucking good bullpen, and a good young core of hitters who can carry them at least a little bit. Dude, you're I telling like me the, the Tigers, Tigers this are good this year? I think they'll be okay. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. Wow. I do. I think they could be, you know, over 500 this season and, and sneak in into the playoffs. I do. Wow. Um, you know, some other sneaky teams... Your Mariners not off to a great start, but a nice. lot of time left. We'll see nice. what happens there. I mean, the Brewers are a team that we talked about on the BTL exclusive pods before the season, right? They sold uh, their ace pitcher, Corbin Burns, to the Orioles before the season. Nobody believed in the Brewers. Nobody wanted to back them this season. Everyone said they were going to stink, but um, the odds makers still gave them respect in their division based on the odds. And they typically, they're just that organization where it doesn't matter who the fuck's on their team. They find ways to win. They just mm -hmm. win. They win with pitching. And the Brewers are doing it again. They're eight and three. They look great so far. The Brew Crew, they're not fun. They're not flashy. Uh, but once again, they're just going to be a team that probably makes the playoffs somehow, some way this season. They're just a really good organization. W Org. Also, they have um, that kid that used to be on the Phillies that is such a fucking bot. Who? Pache? No. What is his name, dude? Oh, Reese Hoskins. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. He likes to talk some shit. 
He does like the talk to shit. But me and Joey talk were talking about it. We saw the clip of him like sliding into that guy's leg, and then they were like talking shit when the bench is cleared. It's like, dude, what Reese Hoskins, leave the Philly attitude in Philly. You look like such a bot talking shit in a Brewers uniform. Like it just doesn't fit. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. It doesn't it, those Brewers guys are too nice, right? He doesn't belong up there. He's talking it just about doesn't it. like especially in that that colorway, like trying to talk shit in like a Brewers colorway. Like you just look like such a bot. <laughs> yeah, and also Reese Hoskins, you slid three feet past the bag, buddy. Like I mean, you, you try to take his fucking leg. You try to take Jeff McNeil's leg off of his fucking torso. That's okay? so good. It was a dirty slide. So you got called out. Well, why you bitch? I don't get it. Um, Krabs, I saw Bobby Portis fuck the squad right yesterday. I just want to apologize. Um, what is he doing dropping 30 balls? It's, it really be Bobby Portis day, I guess, man. It's just that one time a year. I feel like you hear Bobby Portis's name. He drops a 30 bird. He goes off. He acts like it's the fucking championship. And he, the guy's got so much heart. You can't even hate him, right? I'm not even mad about him. I'm not even mad that he went off. If anybody's going to do it for the Bucs, I'd rather be him. That, his middle name is Hart. Bobby mm. Portis. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Bobby Hart about Portis. Collar. Talk about Blue who Collar. Collar by Portis. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Portis. Okay, have, you locked into the, um, have you locked into the NBA board today at all or no? I mean, I'm trying. Like, I'm we're taking definitely the Knicks. Be Celtics and stuff. Suck. Yeah, and the Knicks opened up minus four in that game, but they're down to two and a half, which is weird. Oh, I'm okay. assuming there's some guys out for Boston, but there we go. Um, yeah, I definitely lean the Knicks open up as a favorite against you know fucking Thanos, Boston Celtics, who are unbeatable. They're insane. Um, but yeah, tough time of the year with NHL and, and basketball, right? Because half the teams playing have no motivation, so yep. you just gotta tread lightly uh, around these parts until we get into the playoffs. You know. Mm -hmm. I definitely like the Knicks today. I do too. I don't know what else I would like though. I don't like anything else. Crabs, I'm, it's hard for me right now, man. You know, no college sports. I'm, I'm fighting for my life, dude. I know. We'll be back soon enough, though. People forget. You know, it's already April. Uh, we're almost in fucking May. Next thing you know, it'll be June, and then two months away, it'll be August. We got college football back, right? It's coming. Also, yeah. I wanted to talk with you about this. If you don't want to talk about some games, yeah. um, NIL, college basketball. I mean, Virginia Tech got absolutely fucking shafted in the portal. Uh, the team stunk anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I think they just kind of blew it up and sent everybody on their way. Uh, but a role player on Virginia Tech, Tyler Nickel, who, bless his heart, I mean, he was a five-star. He went to UNC, didn't really pan out there, transferred to Virginia Tech, and uh, averaged like eight points off the bench for us. You know, yeah. pretty solid guy. Vanderbilt just picked him up. You want to guess how much they offered him to come over from VT? Six man? I guess. Yeah, seventh man for us last Shoot. year, probably coming off the bench if it's more than 100k that's absurd i was gonna say 250 four hundred thousand dollars to go play at vanderbilt this year for eight points after coming off the bench at vt <laughs> dropping eight points a game that's insane you're paying him that is where we're at right now in college basketball 400 grand doesn't even average double digit points <laughs> and he's making half a milli half a milli are you Dude, fucking that's kidding me that's the most Vanderbilt shit of all. <laughs> they didn't even they got their guy, like a I guess. Player. They got their guy. They got Fuck. their guy. Their guy is fucking crazy. Doesn't even have and a double people, digits. Like people in chat are like, who's paying? Everyone is like, that's Vanderbilt we're talking about here. Yeah, if like Vanderbilt's what... throwing out 500K almost, half a milli, imagine what the other schools are doing who actually give a hoot about their college basketball teams. Yeah. This is absurd. This is sketch. This is scary. And I don't like this for the sports. I hate to see guys uh, moving around like this who could really use some time. I mean, Tyler Nickel could have been a starter for the next two years in Blacksburg, Damn. playing 35 minutes a game, getting better, you know, being the star of the show. Instead, he goes and takes his bag, which I would do the same thing. Okay. If I was in his spot, I would do the same fucking thing. What are you going to turn down half a million dollars? No, Damn. he's not a fucking idiot. Come on. It's not his fault. It's the people running the show's fault. This is only going to get worse. And I feel bad for, you know, these kids who are going to struggle to develop when all they're doing is taking these bags, going to these bigger schools, and they might not get the same play time or burn. You know, all these mid-majors are caked because the best player on every mid-major team is just going to transfer to fucking Alabama or Kentucky. Uh, college basketball, these mid-majors are dying, like right in front of our face. It sucks, you know? Dude, and by the way, just wanted to say, I'm running for Vanderbilt. If I'm that kid, I am on the next flight. I will run, I will catch a bus, but I'm going. I mean, you got to go. What, are you going to turn down half a milli? No. But imagine, Crab, but money. imagine the bags that Jerry Jones and the Tyson Chicken Man are going to be throwing at Arkansas recruits. And why do you think he's there? 
Why do you think they got Calipari? Like he's about to throw generational bags around at college kids at Arkansas. Chat's asking where Robbie Avila is about to go. He's about to go to DePaul with his old coach, who's taking wow. over that job from wow. Indiana. Wow, that's my Big guess. East I mean, that's, back. Robbie Avila. That's probably gonna happen. Yeah, that's good for Big East. Yeah, DePaul needs to get their fucking. They need to figure it out, right? College Crabby. basketball's in a better spot when DePaul, when DePaul is at least average. Okay. <laughs> at least average. average. This, this should help. This should. Help. I've never seen him be average. Crab. It's been speaking a while. Of, <laughs> Crab. Speaking of VT. I've been seeing some stuff about their football team maybe being bad. No, you've been seeing my replies, bitching. <laughs> no, 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 no. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I promise. See my replies. I've bitching. seen like like the college PFF account just amping oh, the shit out of your too. quarterback. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing it too, Joshy. Everyone's already handing us the college football trophy. Uh, it makes me sick. It makes me sick. Um, yeah. God, look, the team is really stuff. good, and they do return the most guys back from last year out of any Power, power 5 school, and that is huge, right? Returning production is massive in college football. Uh, kids get better every year in college football, I feel like, more than other sports, too. College basketball, it's like you either got it or you don't, right? You're either a five-star, a McDonald's All-American, or you're not. Football, that extra year is huge, having that entire team coming back, returning production. Uh, almost 90 percent from last year so they will be good yeah um they're not going to be as good as people are acting i feel like it's a little forced people want the hokies back like i was talking about earlier with the paul college football is a better place when the hokies are better right college football is good when blacksburg is is booming so it's a little forced i think it's a little early but you know with the playoff expansion you never fucking know and the acc stinks so maybe they'll sneak in there yeah I don't uh, 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 that's all i just i just want that to mean something again crabs well, I, are you trying to do Enter Sandman? Is yeah, that, that was it. Yeah. Uh, you did Thunderstruck, Man. but... Josh, is, <laughs> Josh, is let, Josh has led me completely astray. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Okay. Dude, I need, um, yeah, I need, need to, Enter Sandman to be cool. We again, need man. Enter Sandman returning to Legacies, yes. <laughs> like, dude, that stadium... I have even. I think I forget it was a preseason game. I think you guys were playing West Virginia when JT Daniels was at West Virginia. Yeah. And I bet on West Virginia, but hit, walking into that stadium, dude... When you guys are bumping, like, that is one of the most electric stadiums in college football. Dude, even when the team sucks because it's down in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> southwest Virginia, Roanoke, they don't have any fucking pro teams anywhere close. They treat that like their NFL team. So even when the team is rat meat, everyone shows up like they're undefeated. It's, it's insane. I feel bad for these people. Yeah, I really do. Up. Dude, that quarterback, they're, I saw they had him, that, that same account had him ranked as the best quarterback in the conference. Yeah, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. I've never even heard of him. I literally had never heard of him. He transferred Tyron from Baylor. Drones? Tyron Drones. Yeah. From Baylor last year, didn't play. He's a okay. runner, dual threat type. He's good. Um, people are overreacting. He played good in the bowl game. People lost their minds. Um, look, I mean, we're throwing all our NIL money at the football program, not basketball. So we're yeah, getting good recruits. We'll, we'll see, see what we'll happens. They'll be solids. My prediction, um, eight and four. From the Hokies this year. Wow, Eight not too four. bad. I don't hate that at not all, Crabs. We take that. Let's we go. Take that and we move. Yeah. All right, Crabs. We appreciate you for coming on. I don't want to run too much into BTL's time, so we're gonna go over some soccer picks. But appreciate you, as Good. always. Another great Crabs Thursday. Sure. Yeah. Did not have Hokie talk on the bingo card today, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what I, this is what I live for. I'll catch you, boys. That's good. See you, Crabs. Peace. Did not have Hokey talk in the bingo card. <laughs> I love when Crab talk about the Hokies. I think it's so good. He probably saw me bitching in the replies. <laughs> um, no, I love when Crab comes on. It's my favorite day of the week. Um, all right, so we talked to you through the baseball. There's a couple soccer games I don't want to talk about, Josh. We got the Europa League. We're taking the over in Milan, in Milan, Roma, at two and a half. Milan, that was the most yeah, that was crazy. American. <laughs> well, because I wanted to say Roma and Milan and the Ma and Ma yeah. mixed to Milan. So we're going to go with uh, those boys over there in AC Milan and um, that ass Roma. We're going to take that over at two and a half. I like West Ham plus one and a half against Leverkusen. I like possibly the over in Marseille Benfica. I need to look into that a little bit more. And I like Liverpool minus one and a half against Josh's darling Atalanta. I took Atlanta last time and they're moo shit. Yeah, they're not so good anymore. we're fading them. Yeah. I do love them though. They're the it boys. Is, it is now... We're going to take uh, the the Milan guys and the ass Romas over. Then we're going to take West Ham plus one and a half. Um, Liverpool minus one and a half. And then we're going to go down to Benfica Marseille. And we might take that over, but I'm not I'm not sure. I feel like Benfica over is just print. You think? Or you're saying the opposite. From what I remember, like, I mean, I haven't watched them at all this year, but the last couple of years, I feel like Benfica unders print. Well, they have Di Maria now. 
They got some. I did not know. They that. got some guns. I did and not you know, know where Pierre Emic Abamyang is? Is he there? He's on Marseille, who they're playing. Mm. So you could get a sneaky over there at two and a half minus one forty. Little juice. Actually, yeah, let's take that Benfica Marseille over. I don't mind that at all. Someone in chat said West Ham's getting dog. That makes me want to not take West Ham. Maybe Jake knows ball. Does Jake know ball? Should we just take Leverkusen money line? Nah, they're minus two sixty, dude. No. I don't know. Did I always just would rather err on the side of backing a Premier League team? Yeah. That's fair. I think like you're playing better competition week in, week out. Yeah, for sure. But if they're saying buy a Leverkusen, maybe we'll go buy her. But I don't want to take minus ones against a Premier League team. Not West Ham. All right. We're staying off. We're staying off yeah. West Ham. We're staying off West Ham. We're going to take the over in Roma and Milan. We're going to take Liverpool minus one and a half. And we're going to take the over in Benfica Marseille. And I'm going to be honest with you, Josh. I'm going to be honest with you. Be honest with me. I think it might be AS Roma plus one and a half, in case you're wondering, by the way, as well. Um, those are the soccer picks for today. We went through the MLB board. Do you have a play for us? I am I got nothing to My add. favorite bet of the day from the tweet, by the way, was the over in Roma Milan. So now that everybody knows that, we move on. Don't want to bleed too much more into BTL's time. We do this show every weekday, 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard. We end every show with a little inspiration. A little motivation, but I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I have a wedding to attend, so I'm going to leave you guys with this. We end every show of the week with one thing. Well, I normally end every show with it, but I like doing it at the end of the week, too. Just go have yourself a weekend. Just go have yourself a weekend. Go have some fun. I know how stressful life can be. I know how many responsibilities you got. I know how much weight's probably on your shoulders, but guess what? You're two days away from the weekend. You're a day away from the weekend, so why don't you just go have some fun? Take the weight off the shoulder. Forget about what's going on. Text your buddies. Text your girlfriend. Whatever you got to do. And just go have some fun. All right? Do me a favor. Have some beverages. If you're on the sober train, just go out. Have a good time. Watch some games. Just have fun for me this weekend. All right? And take one step forward. It gets easier every day you do it. I'm not asking you to sprint. I'm not asking you to jog. Just take one step forward. It gets easier every time you do it. I know how hard life can be. But just put one foot in front of the other every day. And I promise you, by the end of the year, you'll be running. Good morning, good afternoon, good night from the morning after. You stay right there. We got BTL coming up next. Do not go anywhere. Same stream, same place. You don't even have to click out. You don't have to tab out. Stay right there. BTL coming up next. They're going to tell you what to bet on everything. Love you guys as always. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for so. sure. Ever since that track drop, he been on fire. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock in. That's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. <laughs> Yo. You think Dallas is power four gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she be on that Jumbotron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Somebody grab me our broom ski, please. Because the boys might have just clean swept the board, and by we might, we did. Crabs, how much you think your pool bobblehead is worth? I said this when I got it. Um, just an AI, you know, bobblehead, just like a stock bobble, it's probably worth more. Um, I mean, they couldn't give away all those bobbles. What a joke. We need under 5.1. There he goes. Holy shit, this is fucking huge. He ain't getting it. Motherfucker, man. What are we doing, bro? This guy is fucking massive. Oh, fuck. How many fingers? What? You're holding up fingers? <laughs> Definitely the meal of a man who just doesn't know what's season. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you.
We need to be able to close out games and keep leads. Don't take your foot off the gas pedal, all right? It might be brighter now, you fucking bozo. Are we really betting NIT? Like, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Of course. Yeah, NIT's electric. Yeah, yeah you bet spring me. training and fucking darts, but you're drawing the line the NIT, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. First game of the season, you're telling me you got a hole in your glove? What are you using? Your fucking grandpa's mitt from World War II? What are we doing? You're Jake Cronenworth. You're a millionaire. That glove looks like it's been through hell and back. Let's get you a new glove for the season, brother. You had all off season to break that shit in. How about a rare eighteen patch? Rare eighteen yeah. stock is kind of soaring lately. Okay, recently in recent weeks, Javon, eighteen stock up, B team stock kind of back. I mean, yeah, I think we just square up for catch. Don't ever think it. Take the show hand, Luca. Last night, go back to your day. There's no way that fucking ends. Yeah, fair enough. Do you have any squad ride plays you need in there? Uh, just a swing right. I didn't hear shit. He's like, oh, I feel like I'm talking to a guy on Mars right now. What's going on, chat? Happy BTL Thursday, episode 446 piece. As always, hold the fry. Joined by your two hosts, Krabs and Javon, presented by Picket Sports. I just logged my golf future for the weekend on Picket Sports. Ooh. So if you guys want to go check that puppy out, haven't tweeted it, haven't released it to the public, people have been asking, uh, it's out there. 
on Pickett. I just posted that puppy. Go check out my favorite golf play of the weekend on Pickett. Free to use, free to download. Could not be a better app out there if you're betting on sports to so start tracking your bets. All right? Javon, how we doing? Happy Thursday. Fresh race hat today. We might need that energy. All might right? need it. Just mine. We got to go, de- go demon mode today. We got to find a yeah. way to get a winner. And some way, somehow, with this card. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Nobody said it would be. Right? Never is. All right? That's why the squad ride has gotten praised for years, decades almost, uh, because of its, you know, consistencies. All right? We've got to establish our dominance again and regain that consistent uh, strike that we had, you know, going for years. We're going to find it. All right? And nobody said it was going to be easy. There's ups and downs. Betting's a roller coaster. Uh, there's one thing I do know. We will get back on track, and we will start smacking squad rides today. It starts today. Wipe the slate clean. Restart. Reset the mindsets. Um, we're hitting a squad ride today. Speak into existence. All right? It's that simple. We're doing it. Speaking of squad rides, might as well go ahead and get this over with. <clears throat> Absolute cake. So much Magic cake. ML. Betty Crocker. Yeah, maybe the Bucks aren't trying to lose on purpose, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't say that just yet. So they're still in danger. I'll tell you what, I will be having double the units I did last night on when they put the magic right, in. Man. Just keep on game. doubling it until you hit or you have nothing. Yep. Yeah. Good. Smart. That did not work out for me well, uh, very well one time. Maybe if you have uh, an hour or two, enough time to listen to that story, we'll sit down, we'll talk about it. The double down method chat does not work. I think Javon has actually heard that story. Um, how about the recap from the plays yesterday? Those were also no shit, great. I Did can't believe Slater didn't score. Everyone else did. Um, Big Tom. Any comments on Big Tom? I mean, two shots of the warning track, one just short. That one kind of hurt. But, yeah, we do. I guess in that Not game, can't, yeah, that, in that game I can't complain too much because they did splooge off of Patrick Corbin. So what I thought was going to be a squad ride and the team total was air. So I'm not mad at that. Mm. Neither am I, but I'm mad that Big Tom did do shit. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. I'm pretty yeah. mad about it. Uh, Eugenio Suarez, he finally came through. Good to see that. W's, let's fucking go. Yanner Diaz was free as well. I don't have the prize pick slip, um, but we did smack a prize pick entry yesterday. So at least that hopefully you know makes up a little bit for the squad ride cake. Uh, we did smack a, uh, it was a three piece. It was supposed to be a four piece, but Russ didn't end up playing. That's okay. We take three pieces to the bank and we don't complain. Yeah. Okay. Um, great craft sesh. With that one, it makes up a little bit for the squad ride, but we know we have work to be done. All right, we got to get the people some winners. Um, any other comments on these moose ship plays before we move? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Giants, Suns, Moneyline Parlay that was plus 120 yesterday morning that probably closed at minus 200. Might have been the greatest play of the year. And that's going to get swept because of how bad we've been with the squad rides and just how inconsistent we've been. If we were on fire right now, people would be praising that play. I want that on record. That was yeah, going to get completely swept. That was a gold jacket bozo pack from you, Grabs. That was with, just a good old fashioned With WCLV, too. Piece. Fed Paw and Maw, indeed. There is some good CLV on that pop. There was. People forget. Um, gosh, man. Lauren, what's up in chat? How we doing? I tailed that two piece. Let me know when Azuna crosses home play. Will you? All right. Again, even happens. This right. Oh, it's still in a delay. Okay. That might be cookie. That's all right, though. Vibes are up. Lawrence in chat. She's vibing. She was here for TMA. She's here for BTLs. Love that. We've got Surge after this as well. Chat, full day. All right. And rumor has it we've got a 24-hour stream starting up tomorrow. All Ooh. right, guys. So stay posted. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're doing it. Stay posted. All right. Start time at 1. <clears throat> 15 minutes, it looks like. W's. Good. Um, awesome. Well, Javon, what else do we have from yesterday, my man? Um... Squad ride was cake. We've got work to do today. Sharp report, not our best work either. Um, we've got a game obviously starting up here in a couple minutes. Uh, if the people want to get some action in, they can. Looks like start time is in 15. Any plays in Atlanta for this Mets Braves game? Nothing for me. I don't know if you have okay. anything. Um, I mean, I lean the Mets. I'm not dying to bet the Mets with how bad they've been. Uh, would love to see a Pete Alonso RBI today. That'd be fucking cool. That would be cool. Um, seeing him do his job, you know? Um, I like the over in the game. I almost took a stab at fading this uh, arm for Atlanta, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get cute and take a stab at the Mets during the day game. Um, no, thank you. 
And if anybody in chat's wondering what that picket play was for golf, because I'm about to be sweating it and, and bitching about it because I'm watching it right now when he's coming up or on the fourth hole, Yakim Neiman to finish top 20. All right, we talked about him a little bit yesterday when we had Joshi um, and Kilkenny on for the Masters uh, Futures. That's my guy. All right, I've got my horse for the weekend. We'll see how it plays out. Yakim Neiman, I got him at plus 100 to finish top 20 this weekend. He's about to pop, he's about to pop up on hole four if you guys want to sweat it out. Um, pretty cool. You can actually watch every single, you know, golfer and hole on masters.com for free. Hmm. Not an ad, but pretty W's. Okay. Huge. They kind of hook it up. We yeah. take that. Um, all right. No plays in this early game. Any plays in these next set of games? Milwaukee, Cincy, Minnesota, Detroit. Anything you're liking, Mr. Red's Whisperer? Well, those games are, neither of them are happening. So, no. Dudes. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, might as well just chalk it now. They're not fucking happening. Well, they're, they're like, actually postponed. They've officially, uh, the graphics have been posted. Yeah, both of those. Okay. All right. I was going to have to start calling you uh, Kevin Roth. Yeah, no, not Kevin Roth. <laughs> the announcement's already been made, though. All right, all right. The graphics have been tweeted. God damn it. Those games are out. Um, Houston, Kansas City, are we getting a game there? Yeah, we're getting the game there. And right. I think we both, I mean, we both have some outside? thoughts. Yeah, I don't know. We just got Hurricane out. 4, 5, and 6 going around the U.S., I guess. Figure it out. Um, all right, well, I don't want to talk about that Houston, Kansas City game. Yeah, we got plenty of time, and I got plays in there that I like. So do we I. Can. We can go over it. We can. I don't know. We've only got, what, one, two, three, four games that are legitimately happening tonight? Four or five, maybe. Oh, brutal. We got my guy, El Blanco, coming in, dropping a follow. W, El Blanco. Appreciate you, Beast. Um, guys, go over to the YouTube and drop a subby, will you? Go over to the Yap Report, drop a comment, drop a like. Show some love on the YouTube, okay? TBD, if we're going to do the 24-hour stream, YouTube only, or Twitch and YouTube... All right, but we might be doing it only on YouTube, so you better be subbed, or else you're going to forget about it. You're going to miss it. All right? Uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of these, Javon. We might as well. Let's go over sure. the MLB plays for the people. And if we have extra time, we could always dive into prize picks. Right? Let me pull this up. Let's see if we can get this puppy rolling. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. I think that's in there. I think Maybe that plays. A little bit. Plays with what we got. Boom. Let's go, chat. All right. We're not betting this game. Confirmed. You want no action. You want nothing. I'm good. For that reason, he's out, chat. Okay. Um, Houston, Kansas City. Let's talk about this one. We got Hash Brown on the bump. We got Brady Singer, who's been Nolan Ryan to start the season. He's been unbelievable. But what do we know about Brady Singer? We know Brady Singer's shown this before, right? Every once in a while, you'll see him just come out of the woodworks with an absolutely beautiful start. He's got a couple to start the year. I'll tip my cap. It's been nice. The Royals are on fire. They've won six games in a row. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody cares. I don't even think people know. They might not. Six Why in a not? row for the trophies. Okay, chat? Uh, but that run ends today. That run ends today. Hate to say it. Give me Hash Brown. Give me the ML. Give me Houston. They opened up minus 135 for a reason in the spot. I'll take them on the ML to end the Royals win streak. Hate to do it. I don't like fading the trophies. This will probably bite me in the ass, but I want to take my chances with a shitty Hunter Brown this season, who I think is a better pitcher than Brady Singer, and an Astros lineup that has to get going here. All right? I'll take my chances fading the Royals on this crazy win streak. Give me Houston ML. Gladly. I don't, I'm not, I don't think they get swept in the series. And for Brady Singer, like he's been great. But he's also faced, I don't know, probably two of the best offenses so far in those two starts that you could ask if you're Brady Singer. And one of them is the White Sox, obviously. He may not strike out as much, which is kind of what he wants, but they're just overall horrendous as an offense, of course. Uh, so, I mean, he got blessed with two matchups to start the season. The Astros are uh, a lot tougher, especially because he's using a slider a lot more, and it's a lot tougher to get your slider in on the lefties' hands when those lefties are Jordan and Kyle Tucker and, and Co. really a lot of those guys, so... The Astros match up really, really well, and I think he gets turked on today. I think we see mm. some runs from the Astros' bats. All right, good. Do you like this over in the game overall? Uh, 
I don't know. I, I kind of am pretty optimistic about Hunter Brown today, which is okay. It's getting me in between. I like the Astros. Like a Astros team total is what I like in this game, but not really sure of like the overall output that we're gonna get from Hunter Brown, but kinda kinda lean that he's gonna pitch pretty well. I fucking hope so, man. Yeah, that singer and run square. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Don't you worry. All right, so we're gonna do the sharp report here shortly. Wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a tidbit about all these games this afternoon since there's not that many. All right. Best bet in this game, are you going Astros ML with me? Are you taking him first five and just isolating with Hunter Brown team, or no? Team total for me. Team total. Okay. That's fair. All right. OMG, we're so close to puck drop. Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. Let me know when Azuna crosses the plate, will you? All right. Um, Chiote, I knew you were going to be in here talking shit. Look, uh, <laughs> I can't make everybody happy. I, I can't make everyone happy, all right? There's going to be people out here happy that we're making money on a bet, and there's going to be people pissed off that I'm fading, you know, the trophies. It is what it is. You can't make everybody happy in this world. And if you live like that, um, acknowledging that, you're better off. Chia Tay, you're my guy. All right, we'll bounce back. But we got to fade the trophies today, man. It is what it is. Yep. Why doesn't Jared Jones have any squares up today? You know, I was thinking the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they don't know what to do with the kid. Maybe he's going to have 10 strikeouts today. I don't know. It seems like everybody's kind of hip to him at this point. He's been a strikeout machine so far. I wanted to back him, and we're going to talk plenty about that game. All right? Yeah. Oakland and the Rangers. Any thoughts, Javon, on John Gray versus J.P. Sears today? Well, John Gray has seen uh, the A's, and that includes a majority of the people that are going to be in the lineup a thousand times, and – You've actually hit him pretty well. So like that's why you go on Twitter today and there's John Gray under case all over the feed. Not that I disagree, but um, I think everybody knows his history against this team. It's not very good. He's had like a few, I don't know, stick in the mud, like shutout performances. I think he's faced them like double digit times in like the last three years. And he's had like one or two games where he's faced them in Texas and had like a seven inning shutout outing. But other than that, he's had a lot of really bad outings against this team. So, like, I, I wouldn't be shocked to see that again today, but I'm also not incredibly optimistic for J.P. Sears, especially against, like, Corey Seager. He's, like, the prime lefty-lefty matchup for him there. So, I think you also have this, but I, I do like runs in this game too. Yep. 100%. I also like runs in this game. And good point here from Chats. The A's play the Rangers very well, strangely. Yes, Lauren was talking about that on the morning after earlier. Um and, yeah, he's got to get out of the slump, sure. Uh, but, yes, the A's, for some reason, do play the Rangers pretty well. And they've looked okay so far this series. Um, not yesterday, but, um, you know, the A's have shown some life. Their bats have been alive overall the last week and a half. So uh, I do like runs in this contest. Uh, I do think the A's could get to John Gray here potentially and maybe even win this game. Maybe even a first five angle wouldn't be too bad. Um, but runs in this game overall, I feel like, is the best bet because I don't know where they're going to come from. It could be from both teams, and this game absolutely soars. But, all it's going to take is one of these two arms who has really been struggling. And I think it might be John Gray for the Rangers to get lit up today. He's looked so fucking bad, and we know how inconsistent he rolls. It's like you look at John Gray's stats after a season. One month, moose shit. Next month, nails. Next month, nails. The month after that, moose shit. It's like he it just takes turns. It's ups and downs for that guy. He's Mr. Inconsistent, right? Right now, we want to fade the heck out of John Gray until he comes back out from the fucking depths and figures out how to pitch a baseball again. All right, right now is fadeable John Gray time. We got to get in and out before it's too late, right? Before yeah. he turns it around. Might this have is the to. John Gray we know and love. Let's fade him while we still can. Okay? Sure. Question of who gets there on the Astros if you like their team total. Are you asking who scores? It's probably just asking, like, who are we taking in that game? Which mm -hmm. it's, an, it's another one where I don't really know. I think it could be any of the goats is kind of how I feel in that game with the Astros. You can take Jordan. I'm not going to give you any argument. You can take Kyle Tucker. Uh, he probably is a, a pretty decent matchup for sinker slider off of Brady Singer, sending out the opposite field. I don't really have a preference when it comes to the Astros, which is part, part of the reason why I like their team total, but couldn't get locked in on a, a square, at least for their lineup in that game. Looks like chat's talking about Bobby Witt, Witt. Saying it's his day today. Love that, Adam. I know Lauren likes that, too. I think she took his fantasy score in that two-piece. Dubs. All right, let's hope it's Bobby Witt with that. We're going to need some runs. Not too many. Okay, I do like the over in that game, but I actually like the Astros on the ML a little better. So 
Let's hope Bobby does his job, but not by hitting, you know, a grand slam. Can't be having to do too nice. much. Would be nice. Would be nice. Uh, Pirates and Phillies. Oh, what the hell's going on? Why is there no spreads? Why is this the weirdest game ever? Why are there no squares up for Jared Jones on prize picks? What the hell's going on? Is there going to be some weird, you know, pitcher getting scratched before first pitch here out of nowhere in this game? It's giving me the weirdest vibes ever, Javon. Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't tell you what's going on there. Rain. I know that game. That game definitely has some weather impact too, but I don't know. So does okay. every game that was on the slate today. Okay. And do you have a play in the Orioles and Red Sox? Yeah, squaring up with the O's in that game. Ooh. It's not really a – I love Grayson Rodriguez play necessarily. Yeah, even I'm surprised though I, to hear this. Yeah, it's it's not a play on him necessarily, even though I do think he pitches kind of well. It's more of a play on Garrett Whitlock, who I just – I don't. I've never liked him in like the starter role, and he's made like a bunch of tweaks to his pitch arsenal to see if he can, you know, increase his longevity in there and kind of become a more consistent guy. And that just hasn't really happened in in my book. And I think it's a really tough matchup against the Orioles lineup. So, a couple of those guys. I know this this game may be potentially weather impacted too. So, I mean, that's better pitching, I guess, environment for sure. But. I think Whitlock gets touched a little bit, and this is one of those games where he goes out there and really struggles pitch count wise. Which, if you get into that Red Sox bullpen for, I don't know, five, you know, maybe even longer, we've seen that from Whitlock innings. That's definitely a lot of trouble against that Orioles lineup. Rumor has it we got a Phil Mickelson birdie. How's my guy doing? Even through three, we take that. Phil, just hang in there, brother. Hang in there, Phil. Just got to get to the weekend. Just got to make that cut. Let's Ooh. fucking go. I don't know if this was up earlier, but I so take that back to whoever said, uh, whoever was asking about the Astro Square. I did not see Jordan run on the board. It's on the board oh. now. So count me in for that. Okay. Jordan run? Sure. Yeah. I get down for that. I feel like that was kind of a cash cow for us last year. Knock on wood. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Acuna hits his first home run today, Jalen saying in chats. I've seen that a lot on my feed today. It looks a little forced, but I mean, yeah, he's do as heck. They've played what? already 10 11 12 games it's got to come at some point what the fuck is yeah. it going? hit a nuke get off the schnot what are you doing Acuna? come on everything seems a little too easy today yay lads i don't like that vibe i don't like that vibe but good thing i got a nasty card that i can show you guys all right uh why don't we go ahead and pull up the sharp report for the people all right let's sure. go ahead and give them a little sneak peek here on what we're looking at for thursday afternoon and evening five plays from me uh daniel didn't even put the fucking goats in the picture on the left i was looking forward to that that's okay though he's probably so disgusted by that square he didn't even want to do it that's okay yep. um gosh man i'm liking this sharp report sure i could get behind this puppy oakland texas over nine and a half we already talked about it a little bit might as well hop right back in here um I, look guys i really do think it could be oakland showing some heart here um at least early and getting some runs against john gray with how bad he's looked recently Hate to say it. Hate to root against the guy. I've actually liked back in John Gray at times um, over the years when he's good. But right now, no bueno. And I think the A's, like everyone's been saying all day, they do play pretty solid against the Rangers. I think they catch him sleeping again today, put some runs up. And obviously, I think the Rangers get to J.P. Sears at least minimally. And then once they get to that A's bullpen, it could be GG's. And you could see double digits from the Rangers and them cashing this over themselves. Okay. I don't know where the runs are coming from. There are plenty of places all right, way more than I could think of uh, than ways where this game goes under. Give me runs. This one soars over by the seventh inning stretch. Sure, I'm in on that. Yeah, good, good. Houston team total over four and a half. You already talked about it. You like it? Reiterate I real quick. Did. Why do you yeah. think we're getting more than five? So I love the matchup for them against Brady Singer. Like I talked about, he's been really good in his couple starts so far this year, but those were against offenses that – Really struggle, I guess, in general, but especially against righties, especially against the arsenal that Brady Singer has. So it's literally a picture-perfect matchup-based start of the year for him. The Astros are much tougher. The Astros don't strike out nearly as much. The Astros match up against a lot of the better pitches there. You have a couple lefties. That's going to make uh, Singer's increased use of the slider a lot tougher than it was in his first two starts. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think he's getting turked on, and I, I love to see that uh, two-and-a-half and run square up, too. I assume you're taking Oh, yeah, we're taking that. We've also got this Hunter Brown two and a half earn run square here. Definitely take that less than potentially. Um, 
but not in love with that. I like his case. That's on my, my sharp report. No way. Yeah. You like his more than four and a half Ks? Yeah. When looking at, you know, who he's faced so far this season, the Rangers and the Yankees are two of the toughest teams against right-handed pitching in the league right now. So it's kind of yeah. the same thing it, it, like Singer, just the opposite. Uh, so, I mean, he struggled so far, you know, in both of those starts for the most part. Um with strikeout stuff. It wasn't really there. It wasn't consistent necessarily. Still got five against the Yankees, which I think was pretty impressive. But like once you get, I don't know, to the middle of that Royals lineup, especially today, I mean, there's a lot of strikeout stuff there. There's a lot of whiffs. And the problem is uh, he was facing a couple tough lefties in both of those games. And you don't really have that outside of, I don't know, MJ Melendez, who's seeing the ball really well for the Royals right now. Like the Royals don't have that. They have a lot of righty power. They have Bobby Witt. They have Salvi in there. They have uh, Nelson Velasquez, big ready power, a lot of whiffs in the middle of the the, uh, the lineup that they have there. So, like, I think Hunter Brown, even if he were to give up a couple runs today, I think he's going to be overall pretty solid. But I think the strikeout stuff is going to have a pretty high ceiling. Okay. Hunter Brown, look, we might need him to deal and go more over his Ks if we want the Astros to fucking win this game. Chat's asking um, why he left the Astros ML off the cheat sheets. Did you do that because I already put them in there and beat you to it? Or did you actually like the team total better and you just like runs? No, I actually like the team total better. Um, and the reason I'm on strikeouts for Hunter Brown is it's not 100% because I think he's going to pitch well. It's just more the matchup with that lineup that has a lot more whiffs in it than the Rangers and the Yankees do. Um, yep. So, like, again, Hunter Brown is like he can easily go out there and strike out seven and give up four. And I, I wouldn't be shocked really at all. But I feel confident that the whiffs are going to be there and I feel confident in the Astros' bats against Singer. So, doesn't okay. always have to line up in the same. Yeah, speaking of singer, might as well cut the shit and just go right to it and show the people. Obviously taking this more than two and a half earned runs allowed today. This is on my shark report as well. You can catch it on the bottom left sector. There it is. All right, check it out. Feast your eyes. Brady Singer, more than two and a half earned runs allowed today. All right, let's hope there's no cheese um, with some unearned runs here. If there is, I'll charge it to the game, whatever. Hopefully we get an Astros ML out of it. But I got a fade Brady Singer today and with the square up. And look, guys, I stand on this. There's a couple categories where I thrive and where my thought process and contrarian tendencies on the prize picks board for MLB works. This is one of them, the earn runs category. All right. So you can give me all the shit you want, chats, on these nasty squares that don't make sense with the charts. I don't give a hoot. I know a lot of the squares I take end up being cake at times, and I'll let you know when the ones aren't great. But these earn run squares... You know, the walks allowed squares like we had yesterday with Hendricks. Those two categories, man, I don't know what it is, but they treat me very well. Maybe it's with my betting style. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Um, all I know is I'm going to keep leaning into it and back in squares in those two categories. And this one today jumped out to me um, immediately. Brady Singer, more than two and a half run runs against the Astros. So we're going to end the Kansas City Royals six game win streak here. And the Astros, by the way, guys, they're four and nine. And this is a team who... Um, I wouldn't say had the highest of expectations going into the season, but at least everybody expected them to be over 500 and making the playoffs. I know you and me picked them as our World Series champions because nobody's really talking about the Astros going into this year. Um, and we're just banking on them being the good organization that they've always been, making moves and finding ways to be there at the end. They got to get going here. It's been a slow start, and they just got spanked in their last two games to the Royals. I have a feeling they wake up today, they bring their bats, and after losing 2-11 to last night getting absolutely obliterated by the Royals, not just losing, but destroyed, emasculated, if you will. They come to play today, and they put up a crooked number against Brady Singer, who his middle name might as well be crooked number, okay, with <laughs> how he pitches. Yeah. Is that a good enough sell job for you, chat? Better just fucking might be. be. Just might be. Better fucking be. You're not getting better than that, okay? Um, I feel like we've already beaten Astros ML, um, you know, to a pulp already, so that thing is, is toast. Let's move to Baltimore. Late night, Geyserman. You touched on it. You like them uh, against the Red Sox tonight. You're back in gray rods. Nobody expected it. All right, maybe the biggest surprise of the day today. Again, though, the O's win. They don't care what's sharp or what's not. Why get cute? Uh, keep fading this Red Sox team that got off to a nice little start here, Javon, but we both know they're not like that. No. They're not good. They're not. Come on. You think Garrett Whitlock is one ERA good? Bless his heart. No, not at all. Come not on. at all. Here comes the regression for the Red Sox, all right? Uh, they got off to an unbelievable start out of the gates, pitching-wise. They had led baseball in ERA, I think, through the first week, week and a half of the season. Nobody expected it. Their pitching was supposed to suck. Guys, 
they don't go from supposed to have the worst pitching staff and bullpen in baseball to having the best one overnight, right? They're going to regress. It's coming. And against the Orioles tonight, with that total opening up at nine, with these two starters on the bump, I know it's at Fenway and there's a tax there on the total. They're always a little bit higher, but come on now. I honestly even like the over in this game. I don't even care that it came down to eight and a half. Give me runs. Yeah. And I mean, for Whitlock, like I talked about, is I'm not a Whitlock believer, especially when they have them in the starting role, because they've tried to make that work for so long. You see results, you know, some of the time, not really all yeah, of them. It might but... work for a week or two, but the guy's arm's going to fall off his fucking body. Yeah. And the thing is, like, he is so dependent on heavy strikeout teams against right handed pitching. And you know who his first two starts were against Krabs? They were yep. against the Mariners, who have the highest strikeout rate in the league against righties right now. And they're against the Angels, who are also right up there in the top 10. Uh, and you know who's facing today? The Orioles, who have the second lowest strikeout rate against right handed pitching. So it's a drastically different matchup than either of those two. And you know, like he'll, he'll look good against some of those heavy strikeout teams because, you know, he has good stuff. That's why he's kind of changed his arsenal to make that a little more consistent. But against the Orioles, good luck because they're going to put the ball in play. And whenever that's happened with Garrett Whitlock in the starting role, that hasn't been good. We got Marte on second. Rumor has it. Do we have a duck on the pond for Petey? chat we do we do what's up mushington how we doing beast we got a duck on the pond for pete alonzo i think no pete's on uh pete just got on base god damn it <sighs> he's never getting his rbis man i gotta hang him up chalk it crabs watch what just happened kyron i think i might just pass brother I think I might just sit that one out. Sounds like I'm going to get angry. Okay. Um, Garrett Whitlock, more than four and a half hits allowed. I kind of want to take that square. How about that? Yeah. Um, also. The problem, the problem with that is I don't know how long he's going to be. I don't know what the leash is going to look like there. Here we go. Nerfy. Nerfy. Yeah. Or no, Yerfy. 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 You're going yeah, Yerfee with a, a nine total down to eight and a half? I like the Yerfee in this game. Okay. I would love I mean, to see. I mean, they got like two ERAs, you know, big guy. name guys. Maybe not Whitlock, but Whitlock's been nailed so far to start the season. Everyone's got their gray rod, Cy Young tickets in. Looks like we got runs from the Mets, I bet. Um, yeah, I like I like the Yerfee, actually. Hmm. With these two big name arms, at least gray rods, and Whitlock's you know stats this season. At least bolster him up there a little bit. Let's go, Lauren. We got Marte going. We got Marte going. Um, I thought we took... Did we take Marte? I thought we took Azuna, no? I could be tripping. Maybe there was a sneak entry. All right. Um, sneak. Rumor has it, Krabs might have been better with Corbin Teplas K's or Judge over home runs. Well, definitely would not be better with Judge over home runs in the entry as of right now because he has two um she has Marte in the four piece w's let's fucking go Marte love that love that let's hop back to the sharp report here Javon um we've already gone over a good amount of our squares there's still a couple more to be done and a couple straight bets here so let's finish those puppies up I want to take the Pirates first five plus a half if this game happens all right I'm a little bit worried with the weather I gotta look into that after stream and see if I want to lock this puppy in but this Jones kid's electric, Javon. I don't know if you've watched him, but I'm yeah. sure you've at least heard, right, or seen the stats. He's been fucking racking up the strikeouts, and he's got a chance to go against the Phillies offense that really has not shined so far uh, this season. I mean, they're sitting at 6-6. Six and six. I honestly could have expected this. It's the Phillies, right? They don't even play in the first half of the season. They might as well just coast and skip to the second half when they start actually trying to win a game, and the magic reappears, right? First half of the season, you can fade the Phillies. And with a guy like Jones, who's still so new to the market, I think there's a little bit of value here on the Pirates, and that's probably why they came down from plus 134 to plus 124. I'm liking Pittsburgh early. I'm grabbing a first five plus a half, get in, get out. Hopefully this game is tied after five, or at least they're winning, um, and we go about our day. But I want to take Jones against Suarez, who's really struggled um, early on in the season. He'll get going as well. So will the Phillies. But right this second, they are very fadeable. Pittsburgh's hot. They're 9-3. and three. I like this Jones kid. Let's get in, get out early and often with the Pirates first five here. Surprised you want to go first five. Well, David Bednar cannot close a game to save his life, and I don't even want to get cute with that. Right? If I it's mean, another sport, yeah. for sure, but I can't do it. 
Yeah, fair. What's the counter? I mean, the Phillies bullpen is significantly worse. I'll say that. Even if you yeah, include Bednard being but... terrible. They're having a bad year, but we know that Phillies bullpen's better than they are. They're at least average. I mean, they were top five last year. Yeah, fair. Yeah, they'll come back. They'll come back down to earth. And the way David Bednar's looked up there, it's like he's seeing ghosts. Like I, I legitimately don't want a part of that. Um, you know, if it was football, I'd be down to back something nasty like that, considering how bad he's been. But and you can get cute, but MLB, like I, I've learned my lesson. Like that shit will come to fruition, and I'll be watching David Bednar blow the save tonight. I've already seen it. <laughs> I Fair. hate to say it, but I'm, look, guys, I'm learning. Baseball, you got to be a little more square. You got to take a little bit more what makes sense. I think they reward the people who know what's going on because you got to grind to no ball in the summer. Nobody wants to do it, right? Unless you're a baseball guy like us, um, and it's in our blood. But uh, yeah, they make you earn it, and you got to use that baseball brain a little bit more. And my baseball brain is screaming to me take the first five here and do not involve either of these bullpens. Fair. Fair enough. All right. Take me to the ice, will you? Looks like you got an over in Ottawa tonight. Tell me about it. Yeah. So tonight, I mean, the Lightning are, I mean, both of these teams are not really playing for much of anything, but uh, the Lightning, I, I kind of thought it was going to be this game that was going to be a little weird for them. They came back home on this little two game home stand against two shit teams between the Blue Jackets and the Sens. Uh, so I kind of think they lose this game. And the only way that's going to happen is with goals. Um, so, first of all, they're going to have. A couple guys out of the lineup tonight because there's no reason for them to be playing. They're resting Vassie. You're going to have Tompkins in net, who is actually one of the worst goalies I've ever seen with my two eyes. I think Duclair is not going to play because he's sick, who is a big reason why the Bolts defense has been significantly better since the trade deadline. Uh, so I, I think this is just a really rough game, and the Sens just got shot out by the Panthers, and they're finishing up the little Florida road trip. So kind of think they come out and they punch him in the mouth here. But on the other side, like the Lightning – even if they come out sluggish defensively, which I kind of think is going to happen, uh, the Sens have one of the worst penalty kills in the league. And the reason why Nikita Kucherov has you know, a ridiculous point streak or is really should be uh, in heart trophy considerations a lot more than he is is because he's so lethal on the power play. Bolts are incredible on the power play. And the second that the Sens gets to the box, it's probably an auto Bolts goal. So I think they're going to come back, and this is going to be a high-scoring game. W's. I'm trying to get some masters up here on the back end. Yeah. You're talking, giving yourself there you jobs. Go. Dubs. I got to get ready here because it's looking like Neiman is one under through three here, folks. Ooh. He's one under through three. That's huge. Okay. Um, and not that many people are scoring. I know it's really early, but yeah, Neiman one under through three. He's about to come up. I got the laptop ripping. Okay, chat. Um, let me make sure this is all ready and set up, though. It should be. I should be able to just go right there. Boop. There it is. Good. Hard. All right. We're locked, chat. Hopefully, hopefully we get some Neiman birdies on BTL today. That would bring the vibes up immensely. Okay. We need it. Um, back to business here. Javon, I don't want to cut you off. I know you were talking about that over in Ottawa. Uh, I fucking love that play. I'm in. Uh, how often this time of year do you even see totals that high? Right? No, I mean, it's a, it's a normal line. It's just... I think this is a, a spot where the Sens make it pretty interesting. And, I mean, the only way it's gonna, it's not going to happen in a, a low-scoring game. It's going to happen with goals. Okay. And that juice is loose as well. Yeah, I feel like, taking I mean, up you look, you're more than – you know more than I do on the ice, right? I've just been following a little bit more the last couple of days uh, with, you know, no college basketball on. I feel like the totals towards the end of the season, I've seen more five-and-a-halves, sixes, compared to the beginning of the year when I saw more sixes, six-and-a-halves. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it's, you know, just the games I'm looking at with some playoff implications and some lower scoring games. I don't know. Um, just something I've noticed, and that's kind of why that stood off to me today. But you're right. I mean, that's a normal line, six and a half. That's what yeah. you're typically well, set at, right? You can look through, like, the rest of the slate today. Like, you're going to see lower totals in, like, the, the playoff implications games, like the yeah, Caps we game. we got six and a half up here. Yeah, yeah the, like the Caps game is at six. Flyers-Rangers is at six. I think that opened five and a half. Um, I would assume Red Wings Pens is also at six, which that game is easily most important game of the slate, which that'll be pretty crazy. But yeah, you're not going to see many uh, six totals with the Senators involved or the Lightning for that matter. Cap same line last week when they got pumped. Is this true? It is. Yeah. It what is. What do you think about the Caps today? I mean, 
They're they look the like, yeah, and they need the win, obviously, to get in the playoff race. Um, so I don't know. It worries me taking, I think, the only game on the board where like a team that's in that like Eastern Conference wildcard race is playing a team that's completely out of it. It's like that really scares me because um, it is the same line. I get that, but it's just kind of, to me, feels like what those teams can be priced at the way they're sitting right now. So I don't know. I'm a little, a little scared off of that one. You know, I'm just going to cut to the chase here and, and cut the shit. I'm a little bit surprised that the Penguins weren't up there. You know, Krabs, this is that this game tonight is literally everything. So I felt like laying minus 155, I didn't need to put that on the card. But yeah, I at least have Leon saves in there for, for the Red Wings. Okay. Well, it's not me, but some people might call that soft a little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe it's soft, but you know, uh, I'll tell you why though. I'm I'm on the saves save square, and rumors sure. of that being rumors of that being higher in the books, so it might be get, getting bumped soon. But um, I think they come out ripping in this game. I think one of the the reasons that teams have gotten in trouble against the Red Wings, and I guess with Alex Line, and that it hasn't happened too much, because uh, he's been god awful. Finally picked up a couple wins over the last couple weeks, but other than that, he's been god awful. Um, you get in trouble with the Red Wings if you kind of let them sit back and play your game and. You got to come out really super aggressive against them. And the Pens, when they've come home in these games, that really have meant everything to the playoff race. That's exactly what they've done from the onset. So uh, I think they're going to come out super aggressive, come out ripping, and try and get the wings on their heels, which is the way that they've been, you know, starting a lot of games on this ridiculous win streak and shit that they've been going on. So, like, I think in this game, uh, you're, they're going to need an Alex Lyon masterclass to stay in this game, and I think they're going to give them every opportunity to do it by ripping on him from the second the puck drops. Mm. Do you think the Penguins win this game? Yes. I think that that 155 is is definitely pretty telling. Mm. Bully ball crabs needs to make an appearance. Bully ball crabs. Yeah, you'll see them this weekend, folks, when we hit the tapes. All right? <laughs> I just got to reload my account because I lost all those coins. Yep. I said it. There we go. There's one thing about me. It's that I probably say too much. Some might call me an overshare. Yep, lost all those coins. We got to reload. Right. Okay. Most would even say that. There's really no need to or no benefit for it, but I'll tell you, right off the rip. And our guy, yay lads, he'll be counting. Don't you worry. He'll be there. He'll be there counting every goddamn dollar up or down. Every one. Calculator and all. Okay. Oh, we just missed a Neiman shot, chat. Fuck. GG. GG. Is anybody watching him? Is anybody watching the Masters right now? I know you guys got your laptops up. I know you're not doing any fucking work today. It might as well be March Madness again. First two rounds. Okay, you're not doing squat today. They got golf on. They got the Masters. Immaculate vibes out there today. Boys covering the NBA playoffs at all? Yeah, we'll be talking about them, Devin. I really am not super interested at the end of the season uh, for NBA because, I mean, the effort levels are just non-existent for three-fourths of these teams at this point. You've... I mean, heard literal people coming off the fucking Magic game last night, literally saying, oh, we're not really locked in right now. We're <laughs> kind of just thinking about the playoffs. That's Fuck a crazy, you, dude. Crazy comment. Fuck, hit. Fuck sucks. That is an absurd comment. How about all those kids that went to that game that night and begged their dad to finally go to the Magic game, and he finally took them and paid all that money and spent half his paycheck to take his kids to sit down there and see him play, and then they go after the game after they get destroyed by the Bucks. And they say, oh, we didn't really give a shit about this game. We're looking to the fucking playoffs. That's a team that's going to get destroyed and swept in the first round, in my opinion. That is Just loser energy. That is loser energy, in my eyes. Gosh, man. Um, ruins chance for home court as well. Yeah, that's beat. Lock He's in. You get a drop to do. You get... What's up? So they'll probably still end up with home court, but still, loser energy. That is some loser energy. Okay. Um, where's my guy Neiman's? That's not Neiman. We'll bring him back up here. Chill, my boy Suggs. Dude, I just, I hate that, man. Like, that's just, you do something bad immediately after you say you didn't care about it. That pisses me off. I'm not even involved. We got a hole-in-one robbed in the Masters. I think that's what I just pulled up here, actually, guys. Who is that? English? Harry English, I think? That was it, yeah. Um, all right, I'll keep you guys updated with, with our guy Neiman. All right, we've got work to do here. 
we got to lock in. And yes, your guy Lion, by the way, is a save higher on the box. Although a little juice to the end, though, but who gives a hoot? So if you guys want to lock in a square that Javon's handcrafted for you on the bottom right sector of the Shark Report, might be a good time to do it. Maybe a pair with that LeBron James Tiger Woods. Less than four and a half birdies or better. That could be a decent look. Could be. Javon, what are you liking more right this second? Hunter Brown or that Leon square? I mean, I definitely like Hunter Brown, and I guess you can probably add the Jordan run to that category. I like the Astros yeah. stuff better than better than the Lion, just because there's a lot of a lot of variables involved with taking high offensive volume and a playoff game, pretty much like that. But I think that's how it's going to play out, nevertheless. Let me reword this so that it's more understandable, because that was my fault. What am I pairing this Tiger Woods LeBron James fade with? on the board today what is your favorite square as of right now and if there's a couple that you can't decide on that's fine if it says astros squares that's okay yeah i think but it's what the am astros. i pairing tiger woods with on the i think it's the astros and the more that i look at that Jordan run the more it's it's looking right back at me funny crabs i'm not gonna lie yeah yeah oh man all right Jordan run i'm in you said that was a late ad as well? Uh, I don't know if I just glazed over it. It's kind of tough now with the 75,000 demons and gobs that are in every single category. But I yep. don't think I, – I feel like if I would have saw that earlier when it was up with, like, the first batch, I would have uh, would have definitely noticed. Okay. Okay. Chad, I am taking Jordan Alvarez more than half a run with LeBron James and Tiger Woods. Less than four and a half birdies are better than three-pointers, mate. If you want to cash a two-piece – Join me. If you don't, it's no skin off my back. Okay. We'll be on here tomorrow showing this green two-piece. I'm in. I put 500 bucks on it. Fuck it. Let's ride. Let's go. Um, let me drop this link in the chat for the people if they want to tail. All right. Let me get this active for you guys. Let's see. Could be here we the go, difference. Chats. If you want to tail that two-piece, it's nasty. It is what it is. It's probably hitting. All right? I do love fading these squares, Kobe. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I'm taking Jordan. Let me just pull this up on the board as well. Jordan run, which is tucked on the bottom of the board, Javon. Interesting. Hidden down there, if you will. So <laughs> the people can't find it or see it or cash. With LeBron and Tiger. Less than. It really is that simple, folks. Um, I'll give you the sell job for LeBron and Tiger. Uh, they put out a graphic as soon as this got put up yesterday. They made sure that everyone was aware of this square's existence. Um, and that's for a reason, and it's not because it's going to get more than. Yeah, it was an early, early graphic. That was a 24-hour early graphic Yeah, from the team. They want to make sure everybody saw this square, okay? And I'm going to fade the living fuck out of it. I already put 500 bucks on it. I put the link in chat if you want to fade or if you want to tail. Go crazy. All right. We got a Mets bang 2-0. It was always the Mets. Brandon Nimmo. Is he doing shit? Nimmo. They had his um, total bases up today. They were looking at me funny, but I didn't take it. Hmm. Chat, lock this in. Go about your day. We're going to wrap up the Sharp Report here. All right. We still have about 35 minutes. We got to finish this puppy up. Give you some Masters updates as well. Uh, but I think we still need to go over nothing. I think we're through we're done. it. Yeah. Sure. Chad, take a screenshot of this puppy, but we will post it on the Book at BTL Twitter right after the show. So don't you worry. Don't you fret. No stress. All right. Stay relaxed. Stay locked in. We got the Masters on. All right. Uh, nothing could go wrong today. All right. <laughs> and you could watch all these fucking golfers for free online, by the way. W ad. Um, w ad grabs. They got to flash my guy, Neiman. Where is he at? Hidden. Where is he at? He ain't coming out today, man. He's getting lost in the sauce out there, Javon. He's not doing anything. Yeah. Um, he is one under through four, though, and we definitely take that. We definitely take that, and we move. Love that. Um, that's huge. He's tied for eighth. So. You got Phil, even. Phil hanging around as well, tied for 14th. I mean, he knows his course like the back of his hand, Javon. He's play he can play with his eyes closed. All right. 
he could fucking play this course while he's locking in his NFL futures. That's how fucking dialed he is, and that's how much he knows the course. He just might be. Dude, the story of Phil checking his phone during the Ravens Super Bowl run in in the early 2000s, mid-tournament in the woods, and his caddy's looking for him, saying, what the fuck is Phil doing, is, I still think, one of the craziest stories of all time. I do. Yeah, it is. What a putz. What a putz. Oh, I had that. Oh, you had that putt? Had that. (laughs) Nuked it. Mets up 3L. It was always the over. It was always the over. All right. Um, Javon, what else you want to go over today, my man? We've got, you know, potential NBA, NHL, ice action. I don't know if you're loving anything. We could go over the Gold Boys place. If you want to target that? I know they had Mets all line minus four and a half. Looks like they're they did. Cash. They did. Sure. Yep. Um, oh, we can go we through the ice. Up. Oh, there he is. There's Big Lefty with the shades. Dude, what is that? I mean, is that just a putter? The aura. The fuck is the that? The aura around Phil. I think he's still even. I think he. I think he parred that. The aura around Phil. I mean, uh, look, we were lucky to see him out in Vegas. Um, we went to that live tourney, and I got to give him a knuckles, and that was. I mean, it made my whole week. It was unbelievable. It was like a little girl's going to see the Jonas Brothers when they went on tour. Um, it was, I wanted to scream like a little girl. I was so happy. His aura is unbelievable. This guy walks around like he's the president of the United States. That's what everybody looks at him like. Fellow lefty. Yeah, let me get my left-handers up here in chat. Rise up. I think Javon's left-handed too, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Somewhat. You're fake. You're fake lefty though. I'm like half and half. Okay. Swing, swing lefty in every sport. All right, that kind of counts. Yeah. But you write with your right hand? No, I write with my left hand. Yeah, you're lefty. But I do. I do pretty much everything else righty. Okay. What do you mean by that? Dumb (laughs) question. Strokes in round one score are the same or no because they have the same lines? Question from chat. Um, you know, Kyron, that's a great question that somebody in chat who bets more golf than me could probably answer for you in three seconds. Let's see what they say. Guys, strokes in round one score, are they the same or no? I'm assuming they are if they have the same lines. All right. Um, unhinged crabs. Yeah, I mean, I could not say anything there. Big Rob, come on. <laughs> come on. That was, that was a soft toss, if Wild. you will. Yeah, I put that on the tee. That was a soft toss, if you will. Um, all right. Why don't we go over the NBA board briefly? And I just want to make sure there's nothing sticking out. All right, we owe it to the people. I know they've asked pretty much every day coming in here saying NBA this, NBA that. Are we doing playoffs? Yes, we will definitely be betting NBA playoffs. Don't you guys worry, okay? We don't have a choice, all right? Uh, But we want to lock in and make sure we're not missing anything towards the end of the season here, not forcing anything, but just making sure nothing's getting swept, Javon. All right? Sure. Can't be having any plays get swept just because it's the end of the season. Uh, you know, people are getting tired. Can't be having. We got a Matt Olson at bat as well. Keep me updated, chat. Uh, Bulls and Pistons. I got nothing there. Nope. What's going on with this Knicks and Celtics game, though? So apparently some of the Celtics starters just got ruled in, and they moved back to a favorite in that game, mm-hmm. even though they're playing for absolutely nothing, and this is a massive game for the Knicks. Yeah, that's weird. So Celtics ML, huh? I mean, maybe. It's still, I don't know. Because it, it's priced in, like the motivation factor, I guess. But still, I mean, taking the semi-healthy Celtics at, what, minus 120 at home still feels a little weird to push that button. Mm. Javon, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I, I can't even hear or think about anything else. I, I kind of figured – Kind of figured you were pretty locked in here. I can't even hear anything. From Prime glaze piece. I can't even read. Chad, if he hits a whole one here, I will lose my mind and shotgun to high noon. That looks like a dart to me. That's a dart. Sit. Sit. Uh, it didn't sit, Krebs. Uh, it's a very safe shot. Middle of the green. All right, look. Me and Phil, we talked about the game plan before today, guys. You play conservative, you let the young guys mess up early, and then over the weekend, that's when you play aggressive, that's when you strike, because you know those tough pin locations over the weekend, like the back of your fucking hand, Phil. You played them a million times. We got Neiman live. A Neiman shot. God damn it, Neiman. 
That's a moose piss lot. Hit the fucking weight room. Gotta lock it. I'm betting on noodle arms here. He's leaving the ball 10 yards short. Look at that wind, though. Yeah, it looks windy as shit. wind in his face. That's the hardest part of golf that nobody talks about for these guys is, is calculating that fucking wind. Azuna at the plates. W's. Come on, chat. I just know golfing with crabs is hilarious. Dude, I get so pissed. <laughs> I broke a club on the golf trip last year. I got I to gotta be good this year, guys. I got to be on my best behavior. I do. It was early, too. It was day one. Snap that Dude. attack wedge right over the back. See ya. We got to be so um, much better, Crabs. We got to be better. We got to be better. Game day or no? I don't know what that means, my man. Um, 1 0 Azuna. Come on, get on base, Azuna. Do your yop. Do your yop. Crabs has a good vibes guy on the course for the homies. I don't know, man. I wouldn't call myself the good vibes guy on the course. I'll just be completely frank with you. I would not call myself that guy. 3 0 count for Azuna. What do we take for him? Took uh, half a run. Get on base. Azuna walk. That plays, chat. That plays. There we go. Just get on base. How many outs? Let's see. One out. All right. Go, 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 go. Maybe even steal him here. Maybe get an early jump. I don't know. Probably not. He Maybe ain't not. stealing, bro. Maybe not. No. He ain't stealing. All right. Uh, Celtics. You're thinking, Javon, here? I kind of want to look at the NBA lineups and see why yeah, this line is moving. It's because they just got a bunch of guys ruled in. Horford, Brown, Tatum, all available to play. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, the Celtics really, they have nothing to play for. Right? No, They've nothing. already got that one seed locked up. They've had nothing to play for for weeks now. Yeah. They're just getting ready, getting primed, staying loose for the playoffs coming up here. The yeah. Knicks, on the other hand, the Knicks. Big game for the Knicks. Wins, Big right? game for the Knicks. Because so the point was, you they're right in the heart of seeding. It's almost a pickup. It, it's kind of both sides. Cause it's, weird. it's weird to see, I guess, the Celtics favored. I guess you could say that a little bit when that's the circumstance, even with them healthy. But at the same time, you're still getting a Celtics team with no massive injuries or no massive guys sitting out, except maybe Porzingis. I don't know what his status is uh, at minus 120 in the Garden, which is mm. kind of tough. Like, yeah, I, don't, I think I'm out on that game. That's a button I don't want to push. I think I'm out on that game, to be honest with you. Some conflicting angles there. For that reason, I'm out. Yeah. Uh, Rockets and Jazz. Any thoughts there, Javon? Uh, I mean, the Jazz are horrendous. I think they've lost like 12, 13 in a row, something like that. So they've been absolutely awful. That's probably a game that I would not even think for a second about getting cute with the Jazz at this point in the season. And the Rockets right. look like they're trying to build somewhat of momentum, you know, going into the offseason, even though they fell, you know, just short of the playoffs. So might just be a Rockets moose fest, but another button that I probably don't want to push. Okay. That's fair. Come on, Duvall. Come through. Is Come through. Trent, you got any plays in this early game you're sweating? Fucking Azuna. Or Matt Meet Olsen. Oh, Meet Olsen. Okay. Okay. God damn it. I hate when he's at the fucking game. No, it's Meet Olsen. No. No, Olsen was up before. Uh, Wait, listen to this. According to the complaint, Mr. Mitsuhara stole this money largely to finance his voracious appetite for illegal sports betting. Our investigation revealed that Mitsuhara, a Japanese language interpreter, began working as a translator for Mr. Otani when he first came to the United States to, be, to begin playing professional baseball. Mr. Mitsuhara had first met Mr. Otani in 2013, so the two knew each other. Mr. Otani did not speak or understand English, while Mr. Mitsuhara knew English and was familiar with the United States. As such, Mr. Mitsuhara not only translated for Mr. Otani, but also acted as his de facto manager. In this is live right now. That's why I want to bring it up. But I Dude, that is absolutely incredible cap. If, it's, uh, if it gets interesting, I'll bring it back up. Yeah, there you go. Do you see 
the details of that. They're like that he he went to Tani's phone and turned off the noties for his bank before he uh, transferred the money. Because surely you can do that on somebody else's phone. No way, dude. Without him knowing. You can transfer millions without any sort of notification. Push notification on the phone is the only thing that saves you. I bet. You're playing professional baseball. Mr. Mitsuhara had first met Mr. Otani in 2013. All right, if it's, so if it's interesting. I'm... Sure. You know, the weirdest part of the whole thing to me, and there's a lot of weird parts of it, that bank noty thing is, is one of them, Javon. That's bank noty thing is shit. insane. The weirdest part to me is, you're telling me the FBI, who, by the way, I mean, they take fucking forever to investigate anything. I feel like all these trials, whenever people are getting in trouble, whenever it's big name stuff, I mean, these trials, uh, these investigations get drawn out for months, years, like legitimately multiple years sometimes. You're telling me the FBI already figured out case closed. They know the whole thing within two weeks. Whole thing is done. Whole thing is solved. They're just already pinning on this guy. It's done. Case closed. He's about to get a jail and, and they go about their day. You're telling me they already concluded and then came up and found the answer um, to who did this, you know, within two weeks of when this came out. This shit should have taken months. Yeah. The whole I mean, thing is weird. Like he is literally, he might as well be on the cover of Fall Guys. I would love to see, would love to see the cut, the check that was cut to make this all happen this quickly. It'll there be... were some checks cut. Yeah. Messages between Mr. Mitsuhara and the bookmaker show that he lost considerable money on those bets, but he continued to make the wagers Thousands of wagers over time. <laughs> the bets thousands. have been made on the sport of baseball. Ah. Uh. At the same time he started placing the bets with bookmakers, Mr. Mitsuhara began using Mr. Otani's account to make payments for the bank account. I wonder what sports he was betting on. Because I think they just said it wasn't baseball, right? They're saying all the right things. Yeah. Hmm. My bet. The whole thing is a crock of shit. If anybody thinks that Shohei Itani wasn't betting, you guys are way too innocent, and you must have not seen any sketchy no, things happen in your life. Sixteen million. Phone and bank records show that Mr. Mitsuhara appears to have accessed Mr. Itani's bank account online. What is more, Mr. Mitsuhara lied to the bank to access the account. For instance, we've obtained recordings of telephone calls in which Mitsuhara spoke with bank employees, lied to them about being Mr. Otani, gave personal biographical information for Mr. Otani in That's order crazy. to impersonate him, and thereby convinced the bank to approve large wire transfers of large amounts of money to the bookmakers. She yeah, it's like since, since when do translators have access to like your fucking bank account with millions in it? That's the thing. It's that he's his best friend for the last 10 years, and you can't fucking convince me that Shohei had no idea that this was going on. You're telling me he knew all of Shohei's security questions for the bank, and that guy didn't know that Ipe was betting? Not one time. He didn't know about one bet ever. They just said he bet $16 million dollars. Thousands of bets. And Shohei, who, if I had to guess, I'm not best friends with Shohei. I'm not hanging out with him out there in L.A., but if I had to guess, I'd say they're probably spending the most time together out of anybody. Um, that he had no fucking clue. That he sent a single bet over the last couple of years. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, $16 million and the, break, dude. And the noties is what stopped you. Turned off the noties, you just didn't notice $16 million gone. Give me a break. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He might have been tailing the Super Goats. Maybe he was tailing Krabs KBO. That could have been it. I'd be no, risking my lost. fucking career to tail Krabs KBO too. He lost. Shit. He lost 16 mil though. Couldn't be tailing. He's what, 8 0 1 for Steen Record. That is true. There's no fucking chance he was tailing that. Come yeah. Um, all right. Wild. Let's lock back in here, Chad. We still have about 20 minutes. Um, any updates on Neiman? Neiman Pitts. Double bogey rumors. Oh, he doubled. Nice. Oh, good. Yeah, he's plus one now. Great. Are Dude. you fucking kidding me? Miss. Oh, 
Oi, oi, oi. How are we double bogeying, dudes? Oh, whatever. All right. Um, Mets are banging for nothing. It'll be Mets. There's always Mets ML for an unbelievable amount of units. I cannot believe I didn't take it. That's okay. Um, let's wrap up NBA here. We're not talking about the Rockets Jazz. Warriors against the Trailblazers. I mean, look, Golden State, people forget the Warriors and the Lakers are sitting in the 9 and 10 spots right now. Like, they're going to the play-in, probably. Both of them. Yeah. That's rematch. Wild. Rematch of that playing game. That playing game they had, what was that, two years ago, I think, it was crazy. I mean, I'm watching Ricky Fowler miss putts. Here we go. This is good for you, Trent. Yes. Ricky just missed a fucking putt that I make. When yes. Shirt on the course, respectfully. Dude, when I saw his kids running around the sand pit, bro, that's when I knew to fade him. <laughs> he also won the par three contest, I believe, which is a geek. <laughs> you faded him. Um, holy smokes, man. How's Scotty doing? Let me look. Has he even gone yet? Is he is he active, chat? I need updates on Scotty, Phil. How's Phil doing? Phil is, is slow and steady, Mr. Consistent, even through six. Okay. Even through six. Trent, what you got to do, bro, is is pull up that masters.com and you just put the little star next to the players you got to follow and it'll have the leaderboard up for you. It'll have like all their shots. It'll show them to you. You got to check out the site. Um, it's honestly fire. You can um, make like your own leaderboard or whatever and follow your guys. That could help. W chalk out. That could help. That the Scotty shot tracker. Sure. Oh, there beautiful chalk. There you go, chalk. W God damn it, Bud Man, you got me, man. You got me pins. That kind of was a free act. That was. It's rule number one. How, it's do kind I, of how do I track Phil Top Senior? Yeah, that might have to be in your own noggin. Be young. I'll be honest with you. I don't think they have anything up for that. All right. Lauren, are we getting in the lab or what? We're already moving on from the Braves game. Probably should. Dude, Lauren, Lauren and I are the worst. We were already chalking our players before they even came up to bat. Before dude, the game like, even fucking doing? started, dude. So why what are we doing? <laughs> why even lock it in if you're going to bitch before the game even has first pitch? It's mean, actually you, crazy. You can't cap for <laughs> a Jose DeGrom to come out and look like fucking DeGrom. <laughs> Brain rot. I'm fucking geeking, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, game to let chalk. <laughs> On the label. Trent, you like the Astros today? What are you uh, liking well, that game? You're on the NBA right here. I'll tell you my two whales. I'm 4 0 in my last four NBA plays. Are you? Yeah. Ooh. What do you got? Knicks and Kings. Oh, would you look at that? The Celtics are a favor now. Oh, Knicks, CLV. You said the Knicks? Mega the LCLV. I had minus one and a half. Dude. Dude, how about that? How about that CLB on the Suns last night? They don't make them like that anymore. They don't. They don't. You know, we 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 got lucky. We snuck one by them. Uh, they don't make them like that anymore, Trent. We, we got lucky. And look, they made us earn it in the first half, I guess. But yeah, they pulled away. They covered. Come on, let's fucking go, dude. Also, is that the first time you guys have ever seen a back to back in the NBA back to back days ever? I've never seen that. In yeah, my life. that's what I was yeah. thinking. It's usually. A back to back, separate places is crazy. I've never seen it. Yeah, it was close until five minutes left. I know I will. I know. All right, but they covered. That's all that matters. All right, shout out Bones Highlands. He had a great game for the Clippers. Wasn't enough, but I love that kid. He's a fucking beast. That kid's gonna be an NBA lifer. Um, you can just kind of tell us some of these guys. Like they're just gonna be NBA role players for the next ten years. Nikhil Alexander Walker, great example. That guy is gonna get it back, right? Um, Did he hit two threes last night? Let me check. Ooh. Let me check. Saw, that none, saw that, that square. <laughs> one three, one three, one for one. Uh, Dude, I wanted to fade that square so badly. Really? I was going to ride it. We got a JT. It. it was green as mall. three. Is JT locked? Nope. And he's in the bucket. That's, that's in the den. They're saying JT might actually have to hang him up. DJ Stewart. 
Call your dad, brother. You're getting the call. Congrats. That's your home run. Seven nothing. There it goes. Mets ML has already paid out. God damn it. Lauren, no, Lauren we need another uh, rebound to pace. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. All right. I'm tailing it. Dude, no way we're calling rebounds after one AB. Rebound to pace. Already chalked it. It's Maybe like Trent was chalking fucking Cronenworth last night. <laughs> I literally never wanted Scary Mask Man to come on stream again. That was that was exact quote from Trent after <laughs> after he started over two. Yeah, next time you see Scary Mask Man, it might not be on stream. It might be in the, outside your front door. Dude, he's okay. insane, bro. He might be out there lurking. Speaking Scotty. of insane, Brady Singer's been insane, Trent, so far this season. Are we fading him or are we taking him today? Um, I mean, the Strohs are rat shit, dude. What's going on with them? They stink. They're playing the Royals, who are on a six-game win streak. I know. Trophies are back, bro. Trophies might be back, people are saying, but that doesn't mean they're winning today. Doesn't mean they're winning today. Javon had a really good point earlier that stuck with me. Hunter Brown had two really tough assignments to start the season. Really tough. He played the Yankees. Who was the other team he played, Javon? Rangers. Yankees and Rangers. That is not an ideal assignment for a righty. Okay. No. He gets to go against the Royals today, and we'll have a much better chance. And there's a reason why they opened up minus 135 against the Royals in the spot with how good Brady Singer's looked when they're in the midst of a six-game win streak. All right. Houston gets back on track today. Honestly, I like runs in this game as well. I know Javon, I believe, loves that team total over from Houston today. Should be plenty of runs from both sides probably, but let's hope more from Houston. Could be an over yeah. as well. In this game. Trent, do you see the, the squares we're locking in for that game? Which, No. You're going to get bricked the second I say it. Hunter oh Brown K's and Jordan Run. <laughs> also, if you want to make it a three piece, you could throw in LeBron and Tiger last time. You could. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Lauren, move on. He ain't making this putt. Yeah, he ain't making this shit, man. GG. Lion bumped rumors. I bet. Whoa, whoa. Lion Square? Lion Square. Saves? Saves. Yeah. Yeah, today's oh birdie yeah. Chaco. Yeah. Go. Let's go, LC. There we go. Three victory. Scotty. And a boy Scotty. He's him. I don't see anybody beating him this week, I'll be honest. Unless it's Joaquin Namens. What about Sunjay Himothy? Has he started yet? Sungjay? Um, no, one twenty. Hmm. You guys think JT is hitting the shot out of a bunker? This is the shot when I'm hitting. I tell my buddies on the back of the green, uh, heads up. Okay, this one might clock you between the fucking ears, between the ears, <laughs> out of that bunker. How do these guys do it, man? How do they do it? Maybe because they play all day. I don't fucking know. They're insane. Um. All right, let's lock in here for a second, gents. We got to get a squad ride moving and grooving. Trent's. POD, you want to throw anything in there? Honorable mention for the squad ride, change the vibes up. You got to play you're in love with for today, any sport. Play I'm in love with under jet stars. Huh. Could be a donk. What do you like about that? Real quick sell job. What do you got? Quick sell job. You got two stud goalies in that. Two teams that always scream the under. It just, it just feels like an under, bro. That's a sell job. Right here, Winnipeg, Dallas, under six. Yeah. Oh, you know who's a net for the Jets? Just a, a question. If it's not Halibuck, shit's chopped. <laughs> it's not Halibuck. What? That's the whole reason I took it. It's not Halibuck, yeah. Oh, move on. It's Brissois. <sighs> Shit. Are we pivoting there then? I mean, I'm still, I am still have units on it. So. Shit. Uh, I love the over in the Leafs game, but that square is shit. Hmm. Um, okay. yeah, so right. over in Sens game, Trent, tap in. I was thinking lightning, lightning puck line, uh, but I'm down for the over. Uh, well, they do have another rat trick goalie starting for the lightning. It's not Vassy, uh, or their backup, even third string Tompkins. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Chat's asking when does Tiger tee off. I'm assuming he tees off at 3.55 p.m. Eastern because that's when the square gets taken off of prize picks for his birdies. I'm assuming. Damn, look at this beast. M.W. Lee. <laughs> Unbelievable mustache from the kid. Let's see if he can put it close. Chat, dude, today's slate's moose. We have five NBA games that half the teams don't give a fuck. We get shot. two MB or two MLBs and a bunch of shell cake. Just all of it. You know what today's a good day for, Trent? A fucking lemonade stings. I have to go You're fucking. Goddamn right it is. You're so goddamn pissed right off to go do that, bro. Like I could be doing so many other things. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay. All right. You'll get through it. It'll fly by. Okay, when you're handing out those lemonade cups to the people in your community, maybe it'll touch your heart a little bit. <laughs> maybe it'll make you feel good. So you're doing service for the people. All right? W Lemonade Stance. Oh, now Lauren's saying it's Monday. Oh, let's go, LC! <laughs> There's no way you snuck out of it again, bro. Dude, Dude I, it's how does he keep doing the shit? <laughs> it's not even me. This time, I've thought about every excuse I could come up with, and I've I've held it close. Yeah, you're out of them at this point. Yeah, <laughs> you've run out of excuses. <laughs> insane, Lauren. Bro. You got you guys got to just rip the bandaid off of that pop, you know? Whatever. Um, oh, all right. Well, that's a W trap. Let's insane. go. Insane. Chat. It will happen. Okay, and I can promise you the 24-hour stream is happening this week, guys. Okay, that's fucking happening. Um, Trent, no the morning after tomorrow, though. So your little theory of trying to cut some hours off. I uh, Dude, I think I might morning host the morning after. Morning yap? <laughs> I uh, might I might host the morning yap yapter. The morning yapter? <laughs> <laughs> the morning Toronto yapters? <laughs> Should okay. I just... Yeah, I'm going to come with some hot folks. takes. I'm going to come with some hot takes. Somebody bring him his broomski, please. There he is. I'm not asking you to sprint. I'm not asking you to jog. <laughs> Just take a step broomski. forward and it's easier every time. Broomski name. There's no crazy. way someone made a fucking broomski account. No. Where? <laughs> it's right here, bro. <laughs> There's the broomski. <laughs> Somebody bring him that goddamn broomski, please. Bring it to him. Oh, man. Somebody grab me our broom ski, please. <laughs> Poor Mike, bro. Oh, damn, man. Chad, I want this on record. Mike might be my favorite because he works his butt off. But this, I, I don't know what it is about the broom ski. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I do Dude, I don't know. What, it's a good put together video. Like, there's nothing bad Dude, about the he's quality. He's it with the video. He's just burnt in our head. brains. Turn a just... BTL on at the end with the fucking outro. He's absolutely killing it. He's got great segments. The Insta reels have been popping off. Okay, but the broomski, the broomski is is starting to get to me here, folks. And now we got him literally in chat. Somebody made the fucking account. I'm geek. <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> Mikey, insane. I hope you're not listening, bro, because you're my goat. All right. <laughs> I'll still be on TMA every Thursday. You're my beast. But the broomski might have to go, brother. <laughs> we have to get some new some new transitions next week. All right. What else we got going on right now? Holes four, five, and six, and beautiful flowers out there in Augusta. How can you not be relaxed and tranquil today on this Thursday afternoon with this new shit slate? Okay, I'll tell you how. Because we got a squad ride winner to hit because we can't fucking buy one. And we can't get compl complacent, cocky, happy, fat, none of those things. All right, we got to be dialed today, Javon, and we only got five minutes to put together a squad ride for the people that turns green unlike any other. All right, let's lock the fuck in. Let me get the damn poll rolling. All right, chat, what are we liking for today? Let me know. Let me know. Give me some options. Sure. 
That might be number two right behind Burbsky as worst worst intro that we're gonna work on that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um one that's burning in the brain. I mean this has gotta go. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Bro, I would love to run back a prize picks today too. Yeah. Oh, come on. Um all right, let me find this damn poll. Where the hell is it? Why can't I find the fucking poll? This is when you need goats. I'm telling you. Um, chat, give me a second here. We're going to get going. As soon as your man figures out how to get a fucking poll up. We actually have negative options. Yeah, start throwing out some names you like, Javon. Start throwing out some, some MLs. Obviously, the Astros can get involved, right? Like they really can't unless you want to get involved right now because that game's about to start. Well, that's fucking cheese. Same thing with VA's Rangers. That starts in thirty. It's been really only have two baseball games on the docket. We don't really have anything in the NBA, and we have whatever we would want to go to the grave with in hockey. Hmm. 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 Javon, nobody said it's going to be easy, man. Yeah. It's probably going to be easier than figuring out how to get the poll up, though. Might be. Here we go. Where the fuck is it, chat? This Great is so annoying. Trent, bro, can you put the uh, poll up? If you're in the background for BTL Squad Rod. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Mine just disappeared for no reason. I'll throw you the options and you can set it for three minutes. Um, Javon, where do we start, man? I mean, I guess we would have to start on the ice unless you want to go with something in the potential Pittsburgh rainout game, Pirates rainout Should game, or the Orioles. Let me check what our guy Roth is working with here. Let's see what he's saying about the weather. All right. Drop the fucking link, Kevin Roth. Where the hell is it, man? Here we go. Um, looks like yellow rating. Bit drier around Philly. Currently expect them to play ball. Possibly with no issues other than some raindrops. That okay. sounds like a good to go. On Pittsburgh. Are you down to take that first five angle, Javon? Sure. Yeah? Okay. So, Trent, we've got Pittsburgh first five plus a half. We want to take that over on the ice, Javon? Yeah, we can take Tampa over. Sands bolts over. Six and a half. Yep. Ottawa, Tampa, over six and a half. One more play. How much you loving the O's tonight? I mean, no more than any other time I'm taking short favorite Orioles. What about the Pelicans that we didn't talk about today? Pels, huh? We didn't talk about the Pels at all. Somebody in chat told me to check their splits earlier, and they did look sharp. Coming off of two wins, they kind of own the, the Kings, but they're on the roads. Do you think that line's short in that spot? Maybe a tad without BI. Maybe a tad. Um, hmm. They have beat the shit out of them this year, though, which is kind of scary. Yeah, they have. They have, why don't we do, you're telling me you don't want to put the Penguins in here on a day like today, when it was literally meant to be, fits like a glove. Wait, real quick, listen to our mail, dude. This is all from Shelly. Fucking, where is it? Big Rips, Dr. Breaks, and fucking, what's break? <laughs> Deep, Dead Bros Breaks. Jesus, it's Shelly. All fucking Shelly, Big man. Rips. <laughs> Shelly, bro. Shelly, he said open them. You want to open one of them up? That's such a geek. Rip them. 
Shelly, or uh, Javon, dude, we got to go with the fucking Penguins on the ice. They're winning this game, aren't they? Minus 150 crabs. This is the day to do it, dudes. We don't have anything else. We don't have any other options. Fuck, you might be right. I mean, they're winning the the game. Let's put the Pittsburgh Penguins on the ML in there. If chat doesn't want to lay juice, they can vote for whatever. There's two other options in there that aren't juicy. All right, look at the fucking slate today, chat. I don't want to hear any bitching. All right. Three plays for the squad ride poll. All right, let's see if Trent threw that puppy up by any chance. We got Nahan, um, sub bang as well. Good. No use. Chat, let me know if you see that damn um, pull up. Because I don't see it. Um, let me see. Trent, did you put the pull up in that puppy or not? Nah? Oh, shit, dude. It was the over in the lightning. Pirates versus five and what? Pirates versus five ML. over in the lightning and <laughs> penguins them out. Three Dude, is this so got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Those three? Yeah. Bingo. It's off. There we awesome. go. Thank you, bro. Also, we got to get MLB the show downloaded at some point today. Yes. Now that it's I'm not really doing the, the important action item that we have. <laughs> Dude, it's just got every every excuse in the world. It's crazy. Actually yeah. crazy. He keeps getting his way out of this, man. Oh, shit. Olsen's coming up. Meet Olsen, AB. Oh, fuck. Dude. Chat, get your votes in. Hurry up. Go, go, go. I don't know why it's not letting me fucking screen share the poll, but that's okay. I don't know why it's not fucking working. Is it even up? Yeah. Yeah, it's up. All right, word. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened on, on the back end here, but the poll is up, folks. Close All right, poll. looks like it's going to be... Oh, it's a close race. I don't know, right I don't know what it's going to be at. It's a little bit of a close race right now, folks. Pirates first five plus a half is winning. Still have about a minute and a half here, chats. Lock the fuck yeah, we in. Got, we got double Pirates or double Pittsburgh, Ravs, Blue Train. We do have some serious Pittsburgh action here. You know Rav is lit up. All right. Could be a Pittsburgh parlay type of day today. Pirates first five plus a half. Ottawa, Tampa over six and a half on the ice. And the Penguins on the money line, chat. Lock the fuck in. Click the right button. Find us a winner, will ya? I'm tired of you guys picking the fucking one option in the squad ride vote that loses when we sweep the others. All right. Let's flip the fucking script today. Let's change the narrative. And let's fucking click the right button with the blinders on. Can we? Blinders. Two words, chat. Drive milk tick. It's really that simple. It's really that simple. All right? Lock the fuck in. You got about 30 seconds left on this vote. It's going to be toy. All right? He said it's chat's fault. Well, all I'm saying is let's start clicking the right buttons and not click the wrong ones. All right? We got to make the options better too, but let's go ahead and leave. Uh, give us an actual breathing chance here with one of these votes here, chat. Come on. Pirates first five plus a half, Ottawa, Tampa over six and a half, and the Penguins on the end now. All right? Penguins minus 155, surely. I mean, it's not even one of the votes. Yeah, I mean, you obviously didn't vote for it, so I don't know why you're bitching. It might be Pirates first five here, minus 115, chat. It's in They're the lead. Away. It's in the lead They're late. All right, we'll see what happens here. It's looking like it's going to be the Pirates chat. Stick around. We do have the surge stream right after this. If you want to pitch trying to play, he would be more than happy to welcome you on if you give him a winner. All right. I know this late like today's miss. It is what it is. We got to make do. And this is a tight race. People are saving their votes for the end, Javon. They're going to make this shit tie. It's the same thing you did yesterday. Oh, it's Pirates first five plus a half. Let's go. Let's go. The Come buckets. on, chats. Come on, chats. Jared Jones. Remember the name. All right. You might not know him now, but you will after those first five innings, chat. Pirates first five plus a half. They don't even have to win. All they got to do is tie. All right, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Don't blow all the bankroll today. Enjoy the Masters. Stick around for the search stream, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. We'll be seeing. Peace.
Somebody grab me our broom ski, please. Because the boys might have just clean swept the board, and by we might, we did. <laughs> this got so bad. Fuck, dude, I didn't mean to click that. No. <laughs> Yo, you think Dallas is power four gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she's down there jumbotron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Tens, I'm sorry, I'm not making you listen to that shit again. Chat, 10 fours, 10 fours. <laughs> uh, what's good what's good how we doing let's get some w surgeons up in here it's thursday we got a weird ass slate today but we still need some whales still need some whales bring me my broomskis please uh and austin riley strikes out swinging uh we got shelly in here shelly let's take a quick peep at the mail mail time <laughs> from ball sack breaks <laughs> ball sack breaks <laughs> Cody Bellinger, Ruby Rose, Ricky Autos. Chat, I will give you $100 if you know who this is. Never heard of him. <laughs> who is this? Andre Iwasoas? It's <laughs> not a real player. You got his rookie auto. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right, chat. What's good? What's good? We lost 10,000 on a Vander Kane hit last night, and we need to get the coin back. How are we doing it? Uh, we actually had an insane day actually on the stream. Um, 16 and nine with prize picks plays, 13 and five on the book plays. I went up with another four units on the books. Uh, but yeah, Vander Kane hits moose shit, dude. AI generated player that card might be worth a buck. <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, wait. We have Meat Olsen at the plate. Before we get started, I need to see Meat Olsen's at bat. 1-1 one, one count. One... Pink package of that. That's big. Oh, yeah. That's huge. That's huge. Before we start, I need to see this. Two balls, one strike. Meat Olsen. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Um, but, yeah, no. We have we have a moose shit slate. We've got a bunch of NBA games where teams don't give a fuck. We've got two MLB games that start at night. Um and a bunch of hockey so we're gonna need some hockey nuclear war missiles uh olsen three one count surely this doesn't result in a walk surely it doesn't oh i need to i need to upload to my twitter get javon's tweeter out of here remove shout out no goods today brutal uh three one count Come on, Matt. Come on, Meat Olsen. Come on, Meat Olsen. In play, no out. In play, no out. What do you do? Tri Shut up, dude. That's not a triple. He ain't tripling. He did not triple. He did not. Oh, my. How is he on third? How is he on third? He hit a fucking triple. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let's go, Lauren. All right, now we need Rizio Zuna to bring home the coin for Lauren. Wow, dude. Let's fucking go. That's how you start the <laughs> quick big three. Ah! All right. <sighs> Ahan, dude, what, what, what? Why are you freaking out? Why are you freaking out? That was off the top of the wall. I had medals and Homer. No. I'm going to have to check that out. All right, Ahan batting lead off today. Um, what's good, it my goat? It, it was never Tom Murphy. I'm, I'm cursed on giving you the afternoon baseball plays. If I do that again, just kick me. Uh, <laughs> today, we have a beautiful NBA slate. We're going to a team where both games uh, don't have anything to play for. Going with a role player in that game, Rock is Jazz. Cam Whitmore over one and a half threes. Got ejected last game, but um, besides that, seems to be good for at least 20 minutes every game. Uh, he's averaging 1.58 uh, uh, made threes on 3.91 or 4.91 uh, attempt per 20 minutes. Now he faces Utah. Last 15 games, no team has given up more above the break threes than Utah. No team has given up more catch and shoot threes than Utah. Uh, so he should be getting four to six attempts here. So over one and a half threes at pick him. 
Cam Whitmore three pointers from my goats. Ahan, let's get back yes, to the green, man. We need it. We need it. That, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Thanks, brother. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, uh, Meadles and Johnson. Shit happens. He's probably going to get subbed out now because it's a blowout. Classic MLB <laughs> blowouts. Yeah. For Peace, real. bro. All right. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. What ended up being the squad ride? I totally wasn't paying attention because Chelly was fucking showing me his mail. Uh, we got Jordan at dish right now. Two strike count. Move on. Um, all right. We got some goats in here. Let me check private chat. W's, W's. Uh, Turner Mac stays alive with a legacy push. Let's go, dude. How's it going? Going good, bro. Legacy push. I thought it was legacy. chalked like second inning. He was so did I. So did getting, I. Getting hella strikeouts. But, you know, uh, we move. And today we're we're not going to get scared away from the the pitcher unders. We're going to go right back to uh, John Gray under six strikeouts. So John Gray is not the biggest strikeout guy. I was taking a look at his stats from last year. He averaged four point nine strikeouts per game. Um, I think the reason it's at six is because they're playing the A's, and the A's are like a top five strikeout team. Right? They're yeah. averaging like a little over nine strikeouts per game. But surprisingly, John Gray hasn't done great against the A's in his career. Pitched against them three times last year. He had three strikeouts, two strikeouts, and five. The, the game he had five strikeouts, he pitched eight innings. Um, also, I was watching BTL this morning, and they were talking about liking the over in this game. So I think both pitchers get touched up a little bit. Obviously, uh, the Rangers probably going to be doing a lot of the – a lot of the hitting, a lot of the scoring, but I think John Gray might struggle a little bit. His pitching outs lines only at around like 16, 16 and a half, I believe. So um, if he goes five to six innings, one strikeout an inning, I think we're in the same situation as last night. Hopefully we go under, but we got the push potential. I love it. I love it. Uh, Turner Mac is dialed for those who aren't aware. Six and one along with Banker Better. Let's go, Turner Mac. Yes, sir. Let's get All it. Right. We'll be seized, goat. Stay locked. Stay locked. Chat, remind me how many fantasy points is a triple? He's not green, is he, dude? I just realized. I don't think he is. Uh, Book of oh, it's eight. Shut up, Kish. Book of Cheward. What up, dude? Hey, we're, hey. Don't mind the noise in the background. My bed's getting set up. But remember yesterday when I told you how that Nuggets game was going to work out? Yeah, and it went right according to plan, brother. Yeah, yeah. How that eleven piece nugget and barbecue sauce work out for you? But, <laughs> but, but, Trent, I'm gonna keep it tempo and pace. What I got for you today, Pelicans money line is my POD. I honestly just figured, you know, I'm gonna give you a little sell job. So I'm, I'm trying to improve here, so I'm gonna give you a little sell job. I just figured that, you know, the Kings they've been struggling offensively with Malik Monk being out. So obviously, you know, the offensive issues are gonna be kind of caused. With that, Keegan Murray is also questionable. I just figured, you know what? Give me the better team that's fighting for a top six in the West. So go ahead and give me the Pelican on the money line to tuck you in late night. Okay, let's go, Chew. I hate to tell you that I'm actually on the Kings, bro. So we're fading. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, yesterday we were on the same side. It worked out. So, you know, you're a goat. I'm a goat. One of us is going to win. Let's have you a day, brother. You look you good. Have, you have a great sell job, bro. Let's let's make some coin tonight, Chew. Yes, sir, Trent. You're looking good. Hey, looking you too, good, man. man. We'll be seeing. We'll be we'll seeing. Be seeing. Chew has is, is gotten so much better with the sell jobs, bro. I got to tip my cap to him um, as Bregman comes up with two men on in the first. Let's go to uh, Ball Knower Brass. What's up, Brass? I'm still getting over the Red Sox blowing a 5 nothing lead last night. That was that was moose shit, dude. Holy shit. That one hurt. Um, been a tough month so far. But can I still give Astros if that game just started? Uh, Yeah, sure. All right. I got him at minus 130. I'd I'm not watching, so I don't know how it's going, but I know it's after 210 here. So Astros money line. Um, wait, we were debating this yesterday. Where did you come from, Ball No Brass? Were you from the TikTok, OG TikToks? Or were, yeah. how did you find me? I mean, do you want the honest answer? Or do you want the... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we do. All right. So one of my buddies is, uh, is Big Better, and he told me about your account. He goes, yeah, this guy named Trent, he's the fake god on Twitter. You should check him out. And that's kind of how I found you. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I thought you were from the TikTok live. I was wrong. Might be. Nah, it's all good. All right. Yeah. Let's go, Ball Nova Brass. Stroh's money line. They ain't getting swept. Yeah, I'm tired of Brady Singer looking like Jesus out there. So. <laughs> same, dude. Same. Uh, all right, bro. GG's. See you, man. Be seeing, be seeing. Slight Martians. Early Martians.
Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go to Beetlejuice. Thank God. We need some NBA nukes. What's up, dude? Man, you don't understand how bricked up I just got when you said you were taking the Kings and I do have a Kings player prop tonight. And oh. it is the questionable Keegan Murray, but he was questionable for last game. So he's still going to play. He's most likely expected to play. But if you go look at his three points attempted square, that is probably the greenest thing I've ever seen all day today. Um, Keegan Murray's just been shooting the ball like he had nothing to lose, um, especially with the King. They've been moose shit, so they're trying to get a good position to for the playoffs. And I feel like Keegan Murray's going to step up, keep shooting to his three point. But the line actually dropped down from nine to eight and a half. So instead of having to make 10 three points, he's going to have to make or shoot nine threes instead of 10 threes. So I think that's just going to be a good line to shoot at right there. Okay. All right. Keegan Murray, threes attempted. Keep threes attempted. All right. What we'll see is Trent. Let's go, Beetlejuice. Yes, sir. We'll be seeing. Um, I kind of forgot to recap yesterday and how surgical we were. Uh, Cronenworth from Scary Mass, dude. I don't know how he fucking does it, but holy shit. We need some we need something like that today. And we need a Jokic field goal uh attempt, bro. Something that surgical. That's that's just beyond surgical. Uh chopped out Bamuel real quick. What's up, dude? What's up, Trent? How's you it said going? you're on the Kings today? I am. I was just about to give you Kings ML, so I'll give you my baseball play. Uh, give me the Orioles money line. I'm on them too. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go 2 0, Trent. Yes, sir, Manuel. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. King of tempo, dude. King of tempo. He gets it. Uh, yeah, bumpy road. Uh, syrup, syrup sap. What's up, dude? And then I'm going to go to the dudes in the car. We got Ron Mox, Guru Griff. Uh, What's good, sir- Trent? How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Good. I got a darts play for you today. Uh oh. Chat lock in, dude. We got darts. All right. So I got um Michael Van Gerwen, uh, minus one and a half. Uh he started the Premier League off super hot. Um, but you know, you got the likes of Luke Littler, Luke Humphreys, they're crazy good. Of so yeah. Um he's playing Aspinel. Uh he's covered this the last two. Uh those were both in the Premier League. So see him covering today and possibly winning. So all right, so you're going with Michael Van Gerwen minus one and a half. Yeah, minus one ten last night, so minus one twenty now. Okay. Rumors are swirling that he's the Acuna of darts. He he's a goat. <laughs> All yeah. right, let's go, sir up. All right, we'll be seeing. We'll be seized, bro. Appreciate you, man. One hundred and eighty. All right, Ron Mox Clam, Guru Griff. What up, Ron? What's going on, Sharon? How you doing today? Good man, didn't your free or didn't your bozo pack hit? It did. We're back in the green. Yeah, you've been doing great on your straight bets, by the way, this week. So W Let's week go. so far. Thank you. Uh, man. So gonna give you another bozo pack today. Gonna go to the Kings, but I'm gonna take the Kings on the ice today money line, uh, and then I'm gonna pair that with the Bulls money line. Uh, so it comes out to about minus 115. Uh, I'm going to back the Bulls today, a team I usually don't back. Uh, they've lost to the Pistons twice this year. Uh, I just think they're going to take care of business in a game where if they win this game today, they're going to be two games ahead of the Hawks, and then they're going to have home court in that game with them. Uh, so this should be a game that they want to win. And then the Kings on the ice, we just got burned with them a few days ago with the Ducks. You know, we do. We go back to them uh, against the Flames tonight. VGK lost, so that was big. They're only one point ahead of VGK right now. Uh, so if they win this, it'll give them a little cushion. Uh, so I'm going to back them tonight. Kings and Bulls from Ron Mox. Yes, sir. Let's muck today. All the best, yes, man. Sir. Hope you have a great day. You too, bro. Stay locked and goaded. Yes, sir. Let's go. We'll be seeds, bro. Much love, Ron. He's so locked, man. The Bulls at minus 400. Huh? <clears throat> Ratchet organizations. Uh, Guru Griff, what up, bro? What's happening, Trent Thin? What's going on? Not much, man. Just trying to trying to craft up a whale for tonight, man. We trying need to craft, it. Trying to craft. Uh, Bozo Pack, we have the Kings. I'm also on the Kings on the ice money line uh, going against the Flames. Playoff implications at home. They should win. And then I'm going to ult line. Are you going to the Stars game tonight or no? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, good. Good. So I'm going to I'm gonna take the Stars plus one and a half alternate line. You pair those two together and you get my, minus 115. Oh, okay. So, so little Bozo Pack right there. They, so stars alternate line plus one and a half, and then uh, Kings money line. They also set the line. Uh, I believe I believe Kel set the line at over three and a half. OJ Simpson uh, jokes in the chat. 
So, I mean, I'm going to take a stab at the over. I'm taking a stab at the over. So Yeah, that shit's going to fly over, bro. The real app is going to fly over. It's all about OJ. Uh, it's all about OJ. <laughs> RIP, dude. Fuck. All right, keep it real. <laughs> hey, the man ran for 2,000 yards. Let the man live. <laughs> Let's go, dude. GG. Wait, dude. I didn't even pick up on that joke. Jesus, fuck, bro. 105, Bobby Witt. 105, Bobby Witt. Is it enough to squeak through? Is it enough to squeak? Will she squeak? Come on. Come on. Double! Bobby! Let's fucking go. Charlie, I just want you to know the only reason I took Bobby is because you told me to. Uh, let's move. Oh, damn, it's Austin. Are we parked? If not, I'm going to Bugs or Bobby Nugs. Bobby Nugs and Putts. If you have to go, let me know. Uh, Parker's pissed real quick. Sorry. What's up, dude? Nothing much. How are you, bro? Uh, great. I think top five shit wager of year was Bibby to record a win. Yeah, that was shit. And, of course, the Sox ended up blowing it, so couldn't even have to get my team a win. I thought, oh, at least I'll lose this shit wager, but the Sox will win. Oh, they blew it. It's all right, man. New day, new day. Yeah, so today I got Brian Reynolds over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs. Uh, they're playing the Phillies. He's hit this in seven straight games against the Phillies, so just one of those teams he performs really well against. Ranger Suarez in the bump for them, who's been pretty moose this year, and he bets 285 against lefties in his career, so I think he should be able to get a couple hits. Let's go. Royals just scored two. Vinny P, nice. let's fucking go. Uh, all right. Fucking Parker's piss. Brian Reynolds hit run yep. RBI. Yep. Let's go, dude. See you, Trent. Be seeing, be seeing. Not too much baseball we're going to be able to work with, man, unless we're locking in a midday Johnson's. Oh, damn, it's Austin and Bobby Nuggets. What's up, Austin? Hey, Trent. How you doing? Good, brother. Uh, sweet. Uh, well, we're going to the only NBA game that matters today, Kings versus Pelicans. Uh, I know you're on the Kings money line. Perfectly fine. Uh, my play is going to be Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, I believe his uh, fantasy score is at 22 still on Price Picks. Yeah. Um, he's this is going to be their fifth matchup of the season. All four of those matchups, he's had no less than 30 fantasy points against them. They just ruled out Larry Nance maybe about 30, 45 minutes ago, um, and he's he's been the thorn in his side the entire second half of the season. They need him to play against Sabonis. They need to win this game so they can keep their spot in the sixth seed. Uh, because if they lose out and the Kings win out, the Kings are going to switch uh, switch spots with them, um, and they don't want that to happen. So Valanciunas, he's going to get his points, um, his rebounds, whatever you want to play on him, but I'm taking his fantasy score. I think it's at 22, if I'm not mistaken, right, on price picks? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I love that play today. Um, and then just a little side note, if you want to play his double-double on any book, it should still be at plus money. Uh, I'm playing that as well, too. Um, he's had that in, like, five or four straight games against them as well, too. So, um just wanted to share that too, but that's what I'm on. Let's go, dude. Oh, damn, it's Austin with a surgical play on fucking Valanciunas Fantasies. You have a great one, Trent. You too. We'll be seeing. I got a DM this morning, chat, and that he might be onto something. This dude DM me saying, uh, Valanciunas has hit the last 12 times playing against the bonus, dating back to 2017. I don't know how or why this hasn't been skyrocketed yet, but maybe – because of his low usage rate, whatever, but dating back to fucking Lith Lithuania, Sabonis and always plays him so well. Best of luck today, brother. And then proceeds to send me this fucking props.muse shit. Valanciunas averaged 14, 11, and 1.7 in 14 games against Sabonis, dude. You might be locked. MJ Melendez, Chelly, 100 line drive. That's a double. Uh, Bobby Nuggets, what's up, dude? It's good, bro. Was gonna give doing? you a Liverpool. I'm doing well. I was gonna give you a Liverpool pick, but they got the uh, most of the bench starting today up front, so we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go to another soccer play. It's at three o'clock, so we're just beating it. Three o'clock Eastern. Sorry. Um, we got Milan Roma, both teams to score. AC Milan and Roma, both teams to score. Eight in a row, and it's at eleven of twelve. Wow. I think we're getting minus one twenty-five on it. Is what I have. Um, Europa League, the both teams are just have full attack, so uh, they should be good. And just be seized, be nice and easy early sweat in the day, and we'll get to the night sweats. There we go, Bobby McFucking Nuggets. BC's, BC's, goat. Appreciate you.
So yeah. All right. Break that nappy. He's got to go corp quickly. Break that nappy and then pots. What's up, dude? What's going on, Trent? Cash the fucking 5U max yesterday. Should have put 10U, man. It was a fucking whaler. Let's go. Yeah, that shit was fucking air. So today, <laughs> running it back, trying to keep a streak going here. Uh, um, Trey Turner, but no. um, Trey Turner over on is minus one twenty on DraftKings right now. Um, I got two units on it. He just got a touch home plate tonight. He didn't have a hit yesterday against the Cardinals. Uh, he was the only player in the Phillies lineup who did not record a hit. So. It's a Mike, good spot, game, a bounce back spot for himself. He went. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nappy. You had just gotten abducted by Mima's Martians. But it was Trey Turner to get a run. Correct me if I'm right there. Five nothing Royals. They have arrived, and the Strohs are moose shit. Holy fuck, dude. Pots, dude. I'm still looking for a just diabolically surgical POD, and I feel like you might have it. I gave you one yesterday. What was it? It was Claxton over Fantasy. He soared over by like 15. That was a whale, dude. Fuck. But um, so actually, I have a play that I actually really love today, and it is Omer Yurt 7 over 20.5 points and rebounds. Yurt 7. Yeah, you know who that is? He used to play for the, the Heat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, with the 227 and a half total, um, I just think this game, game being just a rat shit game, teams aren't playing for anything. Um, just the last game, Yurt 7 had, or he played 37 and a half minutes. Um, I think he at least sees 30 tonight. With that, his line is just way too low for his points and his rebounds. So, I'm taking both his PR over 20.5. Okay. Yurt 7 could be the square I'm looking for. Yes, sir. All right, let's fucking go, Pots. All right, later, Over brother. Seas, bro. New player just spawned in in Atlanta. Uh, for those wondering, who the fuck is Trump? Chadwick Trump. Welcome to the league, bro. Sonny G, it's your boy DG. What's, What's going up, on? How we doing? So, uh, I'm doing great. Doing great. Got a character creation class later tonight. Um, but uh, I'm feeling Ovechkin goal, Capitals. I just throw, uh, throw a couple things out there, and then we could nail it down to one. But Capitals, Ovechkin goal, Flyers, and Islanders are all the uh, things I like today. All right. Main, mainly the Capitals because it's the lowest, close to even money. But if you're real risky, take the Flyers. Okay. Uh, but your POD of the day is Ovechkin goal. Yes. All right. Let's fucking go, Sonny G. Let's get it. Thank let's you. Get it, dude. Be seeing. Be seeing. Dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Nappy, one more time, bro. <laughs> Bro, is it going to work or no? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's working, dude. It's working. Holy shit. Okay, Trey Turner over half a run. Minus 120. I got two units on it. This is a spot. He went 0 for 3 yesterday. The whole lineup, we had a hit. Everyone in the lineup got a hit except Trey. He was visibly pissed off. I haven't seen him that mad since he was on the Dodgers a few years ago. I think tonight he has a really big game. He's probably going to go yard. I think there's a really good chance he hits a homer, but it, the run is cashing for sure. I'm taking it. Minus 120, decent price. Take that. Nick. Anything, I don't know what they have on price picks because I don't have it right now, but if they have anything with Trey Turner on there, it's definitely a good look. So Okay. Let's fucking go, Nap. Yep. Ski! Yep. Time to cash and keep a streak going. Yes, sir. Stay goaded, brother. Be seeing. Be seeing. Um, all right, DG, what's good, my goat? What's good, bro? We're going to go to uh, Boston today. We're going to go with Jason Tatum over 23 and a half points. Uh, everybody's saying that the game does yeah, it doesn't matter for the standings, but it matters just for them as a team as a whole. They took a lot of bad losses over the last few weeks. I feel like uh, and they're playing the Knicks, so another team in the Eastern Conference. They could possibly end up matching up with each other. I think that they just come out, and uh, it's going to be a good game. But uh, I just think Jason Tatum, he goes over 23 and a half points, bro. That's the lowest he's been all year. 
and I'm just going to take the opportunity and jump on 23 and a half. Okay, let's fucking go. DG, Tatum sure. points. Let's okay. get it, bro. We'll be seeing. Yo, uh, note, AirPods will automatically put you in moose shit on the stream. It's just how it goes. Wish it wasn't that way. Uh, Achilles and Pax picks and B camp. What's up, Achilles? There we go, man. Hey, good call on the on the upgraded to the five U last night, man. Yes, sir, dude. Yes, sir. Four and zero on five U's, man. That's good. Yes. And I know the slate sucks, man, but I had to go back and look at this to make sure I was right. The Pelicans have beaten the Kings four straight times, and have been plus money every single time. Uh oh, are you taking them? Oh, absolutely not. No. Yes. I know. Yeah. I know they have nothing to play for, man. But you can't whoop my ass four times in a row and not want me to beat you at least once. <laughs> so give me the Kings minus one for three units, man. Yes. Do the I under dare? Hit, the unders hit three out of uh, three out of four too, man. But no, nah, I, I like the Kings to whoop their ass a little bit. Do I dare say to bump that to a five? You? That, yeah. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's bump that to a five. <laughs> and then we need Ricky Fowler to bogey, man. He won't. God, Dude, man. I know. Is he still plus one? Yeah, he's plus one. He just had a he hit five feet out of a bunker. I bet. Oh my god! Yeah, that was awesome. solid. I was, I was already counting that bur- bogey. So. I know. I saw he hit that in the bunker, and you tell me he made that shot. And he made it. He got. He got within five feet. Of- Son of a bitch! All right, well, keep me updated because I saw you. Uh, you said that he got bumped down. I was already in quail shit. <laughs> yeah, he went from seventy four to seventy three right in front of my eyes. I know, dude. <laughs> Fuck. All uh, right, man. all right. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Be seeing. Yeah, don't use headphones, bro. It never works out well. Um, Pax Picks and B Camp. What's up, Pax Picks? Yo, what's good? Um, How we doing? Pretty good. I'm locked. I'm only half a game back from being tied with the guys in first place for April. So You sure are. Uh, yeah, these first fives have been rolling. Uh, speaking of which, going to another one today, unless I found out that this play is actually the squad ride, is there a rule for not being able to overlap that? Is that all right? That's totally fine, bro. Where normally I wouldn't, but there's literally two MLB games yeah. on, so like it's chalked anyway. But I do love this play, and I like that it's a squad right, obviously. Um, but yeah, Pirates first five plus half, uh, plus half a run. Uh, they talked a little bit about the uh, what's his name, John Jones or whatever. The pitcher for the Pirates has been great recently, and I think he's going to pitch well today. So they already talked about that. I'll just give a little bit about the Pirates versus lefties are absolutely balling. They're like slugging 470 with a .65 uh, OPS against them. Uh, The guy gave on Brian Reynolds before. I think he goes off today too. So that could be a prize picks look. Um, But yeah, just first five Pirates plus a half. I like their full game too. If you like the plus money, I just don't want to deal with the Phillies bullpen because Jose Alvarado's actually been on one recently. Um, But yeah, give me the first five again. I've been locked with those. Let's fucking go, Pax Picks. Dialed in with the first fivers. Yes, sir, bro. We'll be seeing, bro. Be seeing, goat. GG. All right, we got Bobby Wood at plate. Hold on, chat. Second time in this inning for Bobby Witt. Anyone with the Royals nerfy, go ahead and look in the mirror and ask yourself, uh, should you still be doing this? 105 line drive, 105 line drive, 105 line drive. Take me home, take me home, take me home, take me home. Oh! Dude, we're literally him. We're fucking him. Shelly, I owe that one to you, bro. I owe that one to you. Let's fucking go, dude. No way. Uh, Ball nowhere brass, dude. I'm sorry, man. Holy shit. All right. Well, now we need Corey Seager to tuck us in at 135 right now. B camp in the Sunday greens. What up, dude? If you saw my action with three units on the Astros money line, no, you didn't. (laughs) Getting deleted. (laughs) <laughs> Jesus Christ, not nothing in the first. Unreal. Right. Uh, well, Hap got a fucking walk yesterday, so that yeah. was awesome. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so redemption play here. Pirates-Phillies games. The Pirates can do whatever they want to these Phillies, but O'Neill Cruz ain't doing shit. 
He's getting a bagel today. Under cool. six fantasy. It was six and a half earlier, so it's already been bumped down. Uh, push potential now, but I like this play a lot. He's a, the only lefty in the lineup today, I believe, uh, against the lefty. Not great. Uh, his only full season of stats, he was batting 158 against lefties. So mm-hmm. I like this a lot. Uh, I don't think he gets does anything offensively today. So Okay. Fucking O'Neal Cruz bagels. You got it. Need it. I love it. I love it. Let's go, B Camp. We'll be seeing. Take it easy. Be seeing. Only thing scary about that is a stolen bag. Where did the Jerry go? P1 bets in dialed zone. What's up, P1? Yeah, okay. I have to get this play in super fast. I have a meeting right now. It's oh, Rangers shit. minus one and a half. So oh shit. GMS has started. Rangers minus one and a half. Okay. Cat All right. Be soon. Be soon. Chat, are you fading? Are you fading? Uh, dialed zone. What's up, dude? What's going on, Trent? How we doing? Good. So game just started, but I'm on Rangers minus half a run for the first five innings. I got at minus 125, minus 130 on DraftKings. Um, so I like that for today. Okay. All right. Dialed zone with the first five are on the Rangers. Yep. And then in the NBA, just a little nugget. I'm taking the Celtics first quarter uh, winner, minus 125 as well. Okay. Celtics first quarter. Yep. But give me uh, Rangers for the play. All right, let's fucking go, dude. All right, be seeing, Trent. Be seeing. Not only do we get a Bobby Witt nuke, but birds in the air? Calling Cap. I'm calling Cap. Oh, it's not Cap. Oh, this one was from earlier, chat. This one was from earlier. I already saw this. This is uh, this is not live. I can confirm this is not live. Uh, Bear Bats, what's up, dude? What's going on, Trent? How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Five plays in a row. Going for six today. We're going to Saboner over eight assists. This game is going to be close. One and a half point spread. Um, he's only played 31, 29 uh, minutes against them. And then he played 36 in two games. I think he's going to play close to 40 tonight with how close it is in the stakes of this game. Um, I really like this play. I love this one. This might be making the entry, man. Sabonis assists. Yes, sir. You know, he's going to be locked up by uh, Valanciunas, as the Sharps are saying. He's going to have to pass the rock. Yep, exactly. All right. So, let's fucking go, dude. Uh, I'll play. Let's have a day. Be seeing, be seeing. Chat, I actually can't confirm if this is pre-recorded, but I'm 99% sure. Can someone confirm? 99% sure this already happened. Uh, herd of Goats. What's up? What's up, Trent? How's it going? We're so, chilling. I'm going with Bryce Harper over one and a half total bases. Unfortunately, Prize Picks only has it at either Demon or Goblin at two and a half, but DK's got it one and a half at plus 120. So, I'm going with Harper two bases. He didn't have a hit against the Nationals. I think this is a get right spot against the iffy pitcher. So, I love it, Herd of Goats. Bryce Harper, he's hitting a nuke today. I feel it. I, I would see that, too. I almost wanted to say Demon Square, but I'm going safe with the one that's still in the odds on DK. So I'm going just one and a half. Let's go. Herd of Goats. Bryce we'll Harper be- Legacies. See you, Trent. We'll be seeing, bro. W Legacy, W Legacies. Uh, Dylan Lee. Who the fuck is that? Dude? Should I know who that is? Uh, we got Adams got Wales. I'm praying, Adam. Dude, we're still, we're still bottom of the first inning. We are still here. Uh, Adam's got whalers. We need you, brother. Need you dialed in. We got, we got one through the hoop yesterday. What was it? Dame RA. Oh yes, he was grabbing RAs. He was grabbing. All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do golf today. Um. I'm going Brian Harmon over three and a half birdies. It's at one o'clock. Um, it's a fully readied out play, um, which I, I kind of did the same thing with Bryson. He's having a decent day to start. Ryan Harmon is coming off uh, second place at the players. He, um, he won the open in July. He's, he's coming off a good year. He's feeling really good. I read it on an interview that he's just super confident. He played the course last week. He lives in Georgia. Family's there. He's just like, his vibes are really high right now. I think three and a half birdies is low um obviously i mean we have phil almost about to get his third right now like the guy we have four par fives that are very gettable 
Um, I think he's very, very dialed in right now. And I like, I like that line. So um, I like, I like under his strokes as well at 72 and a half. I think he can shoot par or better, um, but I'm just going to go with the birdies. I think he's going to start hot. Okay. Brian Harmon right. birdies. Brian Harmon over three and a half birdies. It starts at 106 P uh, Pacific time. Okay. Let's fucking go, Adam. All right. Appreciate you, bro. Cheers, brother. Peace. Stay gouted. Uh, John Gray with two Ks early. Fuck. Chat, I just remembered some horrible news. Hunter Brown is the ace on my fantasy squad. Welta, what's up, my goat? What the fuck it was, bro? <laughs> what's good, doggy? I can't call it. What, what, what's up, man? <laughs> well, listen, I kind of need a big night from you because uh, – Kind of a moose shit slate, and I need to know what's a donkey in the NHL. Man, I want to go off the dome and give you some, like, some straight demon shit, bro. Okay. Shit I got written down, man. I feel like it's going to cash. Um, I'm liking Paterka for a goal, or That's you can take tough. his point. Yeah, Paterka. He had a goal in every game against the fucking uh, Capitals. Uh, or you can take his SOGs over. You know, you can get soft and take the Goblins, you know, but I'm, you know. Yeah, did that goblin hit that you posted yesterday? Which one? I don't know. You posted a six man all green. Oh, that bitch! I mean, the fucking ghost let me down, bro. <laughs> Dude, Jack, I swear. Jack Jack Eichel couldn't get a point, and fucking um, who's at the bottom? Who's at the bottom? Fucking Corey, let better singer. Yeah, singer. Yeah, couldn't get a fucking hit. So. Yeah, that's that's some bullshit. I still got that little twenty dollars off the ad though. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like um uh, yeah, give me oh fuck all that. I got it. Perfect square. Give me William Eklund for a point. That's it. William Eklund for a point. Yeah. Okay. He's a young stud down there in um uh, San Jose, man. Give me let me get that, man. All right. Eklund to get a point from Welta. POD. Big ass bird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'm go. Cut, yeah, I'm finna cut this fucking grass and shit, man. Damn, man. Fucking yard and shit, man. Y'all have a good one, man. I'm gonna roll something up, man. See y'all when they turn green. Yes, yeah, sir. We'll be seeing these goats. Uh, be seeing. Meet Olsen. Thanks for coming through, bro. You already did your job. I don't even care. Uh, we got Rito and Surgical Shane, and then Vito. All right, I'm gonna go Surge Shane, then Rito Vito. Surge Shane, what's up, dude? Yo, what's up? How's it going, Trent? We're chilling, dog. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, bro. It's been a minute. Um, so I'm a huge golf fan, and this is one of my favorite weekends of the year, obviously. Um, but I am going to throw you a first-round leader um, prop if you want it, and then also a full tournament winner. Um, so I have uh, Sahith Thagala uh, to be leading at the end of the first round. Um, if you want to be a little bit safer with that, though, as well, um, I'm taking the under see Heath 72 and a half strokes, which I think is just so high on prize picks. I think that's probably my favorite pick of the day. And mm -hmm. then I have Cameron Smith to win the masters as well at a uh, plus four, 4,000. I think it is 40 to one. Wow. Um, and he's, he's one under through four. He's killing it right now. Um, so the wind, I will say, uh, the scores aren't going to be as low as usual right now, uh, especially today because it got pushed back a little because of the rain, but I'm looking for Sahith to have the big day to start the masters. And then, Cameron Smith, I think, is going to put on his green jacket after falling short a couple of times in these past couple of years. Okay. W sell job from Serge Shane, bro. Yes, sir. Beyond okay. Sahith today, he's definitely going under par. There's no way he's not going under par. Okay. I might have yeah. to uh, I might have to put that in. Thank you. All right. Let's we'll be go. seeing Trev. Have a good one, man. Enjoy the Masters. Hey, you too, man. Good luck. We'll be seeing. Yeah, I got the board. One second. You guys aren't giving me any updates on my 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 golf shit. I'm watching that fucking Ricky Fowler just hit the shot of the year. That's not good. Uh, and we need Seeger coming up. So when Seeger comes up, I'm locking the fuck in. And Fowler just birdied. Unfucking believable. Josh, dude, I I'm so out on Josh, bro. I'm so out. All right, we have a, a walk by. JP Sears, Marcus Simeon takes first. Papa Poops, or sorry, Rito, Rito, Rito. What's up, Rito? What's up, Trent? How's it going? Good, how are you? We're chilling, doggy. 
All right. Well, you said it earlier. You need another John like Jokic field goals attempted. And I got that same exact prop for you. It's Brunson over 22 and a half field goal attempted. Rito. Yep. Starters got ruled in for Celtics, which makes the play a little bit better. Uh, The Celtics are treating this probably as a normal-ish game. Yeah. Brunson needs to do his job against the Celtics, so. Okay. All right. I love that square, bro. Yeah, let's do it, bro. I, I just need to know, is that is that labbed up or is that forced? No, that's straight intuition, narrative play, just okay. Brunson day. All right. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's do it, bro. All right, GG, Rito. We'll be seeing. I will <clears> – <throat> I'll show butthole for a Seager run. Come on, Seager. 0-2 spawnage with Simeon on second. Don't strike out to J.P. Sears, bro. Please. He struck out to J.P. Sears. He struck out to J.P. Sears. Unbelievable, dude. Uh, Papa Poops and Vito. Papa Poops, what up? Yo, what up, Trent? How we doing today? We're chilling, dude. Yeah, just some uh, afternoon baseball, I see. Oh, yeah. Listen, uh, yesterday we got a push. Uh, unfortunately, we went for the over six, and it ended at six. I was hoping for one more goal from either side, but rather a push than a loss. Uh, today we're taking you to the New York Rangers. Uh, we're taking the New York Rangers by two or more. Um, Flyers have been playing dog shit hockey. They've been looking out of sync completely. Um, they just got smoked by Montreal 9-3. Uh, Rangers just lost to the Islanders, a tough one. I think Rangers come out just absolutely flying tonight, uh, and I think they get it done, and it's it's plus money on top of that. Okay. Rangers yeah. puck line. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for the spreadsheet and stuff, what's the minimum requirement for, like, the odds? Minus 130. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Bet, bet, bet. All right. Well, have a good day. We'll be seeing. We'll be seized, bro. Stay locked. Yes, sir. And goaded. Um, I'm really pissed I put fucking Corey Seager in this shit. Dude's trash. Bus? What's up, Bus? What's going on, Trent? How we doing? I'm doing good. How about you? We're chilling. We had Jordan yesterday, man. Yeah, it was tough. They're making Seth Lugo looking like a Cy Young candidate, man. What are we doing? Yeah, for real. So. Right now, AI, I'm sweating a three units on Bresson DeChambeau to win it all. So it's, it's looking pretty good right now. So, yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So today I'm going to feed you three and a half hits for Matthew Kachuk. He's playing the Blue Jackets, who are not, not really a defensive heavy team over there in Columbus. So it is a demon square as well. Forgot to say that. But um, he's hit this line against the Blue Jackets this year. He ripped seven shots against them earlier this year. So... I could just see him ripping the puck tonight. He hasn't really done much of a as of recent. He's only hit in two of the last five. So I could just see it go, going green today. Okay. Let's fucking go, boss. Later, man. We'll be seeing. All right. GG's, doggy. Vito. Vito. I need you more locked than you've ever been right now. Do you want an first of all? Do you want a demon or a plane? <laughs> oh, fuck me though. Um, I don't know, man. I want the green square. All right. I was gonna ask NBA, MLB, or NHL, but then since you just want green, uh, Trey Murphy more than fifteen and a half points. Trey Murphy, 15 yeah. and a half points. Without Ingram, without Ingram, if the Pelicans are going to try and stay in this game, Murphy's going to have to drop at least 20. You're right, dude. You're fucking so right. How confident are we? Very confident. If you want my other, my MLB one, it's Anthony Santander, more than one and a half hits, runs in RBIs. Is that a demon or a regular guys here? Regular. Okay. Those are the two regulars. But death beam pointed on earth. We're going with Trey Murphy, 15 points. Yes, sir. Okay. 
All right, Vito. I love it, dude. I think you might be lost. Yes, sir. Today was not a good day. <laughs> it's all right. We get it today, bro. Yes, sir. I hit a all goose. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Did anyone else hear that? <laughs> he hit a goose? Um, Justin Hockey greened out Gobi. Perfect guy to talk to today, man. Trent. Yes. The playoffs are on the line. Yes, sir. You got Detroit against Pittsburgh, man. Yeah, we do. I don't see Larkin or Crosby going under their time on ice. Whoa. Crosby or Larkin? Man. It's their main guy, their go-to guy, offense, defense. This game got to stay close. In close game, Crosby hit well, and Larkin has been destroying this line lately. Uh, his coach is putting him in every situation. Also, John Carlson, uh, the Washington, he had 29 minutes in both of his last two games. Uh They're their guy that you can put in offense and defense. And with the playoff on the line, these three guys got to play. All right. So death beams have the fuck or death Martians have the death beam pointed on on Earth, bro. And you have to take one of these. Who is it? Man. I I, I played them all three. I, I, I don't have a favorite, man. Oh, you either go with Carlson, who's been playing 30 minutes. Crosby, like, he's in pretty well in close game. He, he's red, like, 18, 19 minutes. But it's always in three goals game. When it's close, he hits this time. And Larkin, uh, he's been hitting well lately. I don't know, man, stuff, but okay, All I right. don't have a favorite. Damn. Okay, well, we might have to take one of those. I think Larkin could be a that kind of sounds surgical. Yeah, we'll be. All right, we'll be hockey. Appreciate you, bro. Seth Brown just hit a home run for the Oakland A's. Jesus, bro. Boss, back for seconds. No, I, I just noticed I said hits. I meant shots. Oh, for Kachuk? Yeah, yeah, for Kachuk. Yeah, my bad. Kachuk shots at three and a half? Yeah, three and shots. Yeah, it's a demon as well. Okay, word. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Be seeing it. I'd be seeing Ricky Fowler is currently even, bro. We're done. Thanks, Josh. What a shit bet. Capwise, what'd you text me? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> This is wild. <laughs> Scotty in all caps what do you do what do you do Shelly hitting as rare as A's dingers maybe we'll see both today wow wow um All right, chat, butt naked cues. Anyone else want to come on or are we going to get straight to crafting? Kind of shocked for free, uh, free coin being soft after costing me 10 racks. Kind of soft. Shall you got any lab work or just hold off? Oh my God, we get fuzzy green ball tennis cake. Fuzzy green ball tennis cake. I think, I think Brunson needs to be involved in whatever we cook up. Intern Rav, Mavericks were a free bet. Mavs were hella free. Yep. Um, all right, I'm going to go. I really liked Pirates' first half, uh, plus a half. Uh, the Basically, the reason why they're doing it is because the, the starting pitcher today for the Pirates, Jared Jones, like one of their top prospects, he's like disgusting stuff. I'm going to take his strikeouts on prize picks. This is the first time I've given you a prize pick square ever. Whoa. I'm gonna get it's at six right now. I think he goes goes over six. He's had 10 strikeouts and seven in his first two starts. He's got a nasty 100 plus mile per hour two seam fastball, 
paired with a slider that comes out the exact same way out of the hand. Um, he was able to take care of the Orioles and get the win in his first in his second start. I think he could take care of the Phillies today. So I'm gonna go Jones six plus strikeouts. It's it's free. All right, Jones over K's intern Rav. Let's fucking and give him go. a watch. He's fucking fun to watch. Okay, okay. All right, let's go, dude. All right, here we go. We'll be seeing. Be seeing. Larkin's bumped on TOI. No way, dude. How much of a bump? 25 seconds. Uh, let's go to Banker Better, dude. Maybe he has our square. Banker Better. How are we doing, Trent? It was always Jokic. It was a little sweaty, but it was him. It was. Uh, today, I'm going to take you to what seems like the most important game on the NBA, Pelicans and uh, the Kings. I'm going to take uh, Zion under rebounds and assists. So let me hear me out. Whoa going to be a Zion game. I think he's going to have the ball in his hands with Ingram out. I think he's going to step up. He's probably going to drop 30. I don't see him dishing the rock. He's not a big rebounder against Sabonis, some other guys on the court. I think he's going to go under rebounds and assists. Okay. All right. Under rebounds and assists. Banker is pretty sharp with the unders. He hasn't covered, just real quick, one more nugget. He hasn't covered this line in any of the games this year. Also dating back to his, uh, in his career, going back to 2020, he hasn't uh, even sniff the line against the wow. Kings. Wow. Hasn't sniffed it once. It's at 12 and a half right now. It's probably going to get bumped down pretty shortly. Okay. Banker better dialed. Let's go, dude. All right. Thanks, Trev. Be seeing. Be seeing. Be seeing. Uh, Booker with Primer. What up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Tiger Good, man. Woods, 74 and a half strokes. He's going under and he's winning the Masters. Ten dollars pays a thousand eighty dollars. I love it. Tiger on Sunday. <laughs> That's how you get out of piss, right there. <laughs> it was never Scotty. That's a terrible bet. <laughs> Ten units on Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> get the hell out of here with that, dude. That tweet I made this morning was just for you, bro. Oh yeah. Well, Mavs are winning the fucking finals, so get ready for it. I'm ready for it, dude. My, I'm gonna my... bet you. I'm gonna make a bet with you. I'm gonna come on here and offer a bet to you when the Mavs are playing the, the Thunder. Oh, I I can't wait, bro. I'll have my units ready. I will too. Have a great day. <laughs> we'll be seeing Tiger on Sunday. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> His face, dude. Every time he just <laughs> uh, DJ Fitzarelli. We need the whole car, bro. It's crazy, bro. I'm just now getting started on the car, so I got you at one play, but I might double back around if you ain't if you ain't done yet. But the one play is Sacramento Kings minus one and a half money line, whatever is minus one thirty. Fuck. Wait, are you on the Kings? If you're on the Kings, I can switch it up real quick. No, no, no. Keep going. You're good. You're good. <laughs> there ain't no cell, I, no, no cell draw, really. I just believed her. Um, Pelicans without B uh, B Ingram, so I'm just fading them every time I can without B Gra B Graham. When a, um, the opposing team is basically fully healthy, so um, yeah, King, Kings money line, Kings minus one, whatever is minus one thirty. I'm literally just now locking in, getting off of work and everything. But oh, you good, Fitz? All right, dude, Kings yeah, money line. Yes, sir, brother. Let's, let's cash. Into the, let's cash pre week yes, and cash, sir. baby. We'll be seeing goat. Stay locked and goaded. Stay locked and goaded. Jordan ninety four fly ball caught. Fuck. Bj Cheek and Brian C. Yeah, what's up? Oh, my. Sorry, we're getting hella Martians. Can I bring you back? I'll bring you back. Brian C., what's good, dude? Hey, what's up, Trent? How you doing? What's up, goat? How you doing? We're chilling, man. Good. How are you? Good. Hey, uh, Hunter Green. He may have got shelled, but my God, he was striking people out. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. You had full game, right? Yeah. Yeah, which that, that hit too. Good stuff. Uh, good. Today, uh, I wanted to do an MLB live, man, but I was like, um, so, so my prop is Grayson over six, over six K's full game. And, um, um, I wanted to, do, I, I was going to do MLB live, but I was looking through, he seems to strike him out more second time around. So I'm going to stick with that. But, uh, 
some other pitchers that have gone up against the Red Sox who are the Red Sox who have the third highest strikeout rate. I know it's only been like 10 or 11 games, but they're striking out a lot. Uh, Corbin went six the other day. Uh, George Kirby's gone eight against them. And Logan Gilbert also has gone eight. Uh, Grayson is also uh, minus 130 on the green book to go over, I think it's 16 and a half pitching out. So as long as he keeps his walks down, uh, I think it's a good spot for him to get some strikeouts here. Okay. Gray Rod over 6Ks. Yep. Let's go, right, dude. That's it. All right. We'll be saying. Appreciate good it. Good spell job, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Have a great day. We'll be seeing. Gray with four strikeouts early. Uh, let's go to my guy, Bioni, and uh, we got Summertime Cooch. What's up, dude? What's good, man? You say Bioni every time, but it's all right. Uh, wh- that, what is it, man? Beyond. It's, it's all Beyond, right. dude. I, yes. One of these days, one of these this days. is the fourth time. The fourth time. All right. Um, I was going to come on here and give you Zion assists, but Banker better, you know. Yeah, that's kind of scary. If shut it better. down. Yeah, it's definitely scary. But I'm going to give you an under for MLB. We're going to go Tristan Casas under a hit. Ooh. Um, like plus 125, I think, on Hard Rock. I think dude is just dog shit. He's on a little like three or four game streak right now, but I don't see it happening today. I think okay. he's a big old bagel. Casas, Tristan Casas under half a base. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. All right, dude. Appreciate you, homie. Be seeing. Yes, Lauren. That's your chicken butt guy. <laughs> Jenny Liz. Jenny Liz. Uh, Tristan DM'd Lauren. I don't know if I'm allowed to share this story. Actually, I'll wait for it until she fucking tells me I can. Uh, we got summertime coochie. What up? What's going on, brother? How you doing? There he is. What's up, goat? Um, I'm I'm gonna pivot from the Keegan Murray one. I saw it was just bumped up to 17. I like Cade Cunningham under six and a half assists. Um, coming in to play the last game of the season, I don't expect them to really play a high high load of minutes in the first place. They're playing against the Bulls or 12 point dogs at this point, so there's full potential to even further limit his minutes. And even if he does get the full projection that I have of 37 minutes, he's only had 11 potential assists in his past five games he's played. You want to kind of be at 60% of your potential assist line. So at six and a half is just not enough. So I think uh, going under on this kid Cunningham prop is going to be the way to get to the bank. You you don't like Keegan anymore? Well, I just uh, I don't I don't hate it at over sixty at seventeen. It's just I played it at sixteen and a half, so I didn't want to give anything out that I didn't play. Wow, what a guy! W transparency, man. Trying my best, brother. Trying my All best. Right. Quick, quick howl for the vibes, please. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh! Let's go, Cam Smith, baby. Go deep, brother. Go deep. Let's go, dude. Stay goaded. Little weak on the howl there. Little weak. Uh, along came Holly rolling through. I forget who you gave us yesterday. Oh, my goodness. It was that combo square for SGA and Damian Lillard. 55 points. Pushed. How do they fucking get that so spot on? What's up, Polly? Let's run it back. Hey, yeah, I can't believe that that push. I expect a little more out of them, but. Yeah, that's which crazy. Which isn't a loss, so I'll take it. Yeah. Um. So today I have Herbert Jones over fantasy. It's wow. 23 and a half. And I think he plays well today. Um, they're still playing for to keep a seed in the playoffs. Um, he's really known for his like blocks and steals. Um, Kings average 13 and a half turnovers a game. So someone's got to be on the other end of that. Um and I think he does well with his shooting today, too. Um, he's projected for good points, good minutes. So I think I love he gets it. it done. All right. W square and sell job. Herb Jones fantasy score. Yep. Let's go. All right. Let's get the let's get it back in the green after that bullshit push. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holly. Stay go and have a great day. Yep, you too. Bye. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. Holly's a mega dub. She's here for the vibes and to get surgical, and that's all we care and ask ask for, man. Uh, LC, quick story. Tristan Cassas DM'd her saying, hey, what's up? Or no, no, no. It was, guess what? And she responds, what? And his response, chicken butt. 
Like, the, is that the worst Riz we've ever seen? Has to be up there with some of the worst Riz of all time. Uh, speaking of horrendous Riz, let's talk to Yeti Express. Hey, when you're married, you don't have to have Riz, brother. <laughs> um, how are you doing today? Good, dude. We're chilling. How are you? Uh, surgeons are just getting on a rem. Um, have you heard any Curry pitches today? No, not one. Really? Uh, yeah, give me Stephen Curry PRA um, in a meaningful game for the Warriors. Um, this is basically playoff games for them at this point. Hoping to get a possible home game, I think, they can still shoot for um, in that 9-10 matchup. Uh, yeah, I'll take Curry over PRA. It's uh, 36 and a half. Okay. Uh, a little, that- little unlucky yesterday with uh, Cease. He got a strikeout in his last set batter face to get seven for the push, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, any words for Ken's bands? Uh, quit being a coward and get your ass up here. <laughs> it's that simple. All right. Death, taxes, and Ken's bands. Get your fucking ass up here. <laughs> Ken Bands, dude. Keep up the chirps. Good work. All right. Uh, maybe we get a fuzzy green ball tennis POD. Asim, did the play hit yesterday? I forget. Yeah, the one yesterday hit. I uh, was very lucky to hit, but yeah. Wow. Love to hear that. Yeah, so the next play is for tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going back to Tisty boss, uh, I have a minus one and a half sets or two L. This is plus money. Just I, it's plus one twenty, but there's like no other way. Uh, I think he's gonna win comfortably here. Uh, this is kind of a chalky play. Like you kind of just have to ride Tisty boss here um, at Monte Carlo. He looked good overall, even though he choked the second set today. Seven uh, one. Head to head against Kachanov. I usually don't like playing this when it's so one sided, but uh, at Tsitsipas's best tournament, uh, Kachanov isn't really going to do much. And he's been doing good on clay. He beat Medvedev, but at the same time, it's not really his best surface. And Tsitsipas, even though uh, you'll probably have a set go to a tie break here, I think Tsitsipas is going to close it out and keep rolling. Okay. Tsitsipas. Minus one and a half, right? Yeah. All right, let's go, Asim. And if you want to tailor some prize picks, would it be the fantasy score? Yeah. All right, but you don't like that that much? Um, No, the, it should, like, realistically, like, 99% of the time, the fantasy score will hit. If they cover. Yeah. Okay, good to know, dude. Uh, all right, TC Poss, minus one and a half. Yep. Let's go. We'll be seeing Goat. Stay locked. Keep that up here, chat. We always have a Sims fuzzy cake to go to if we want to add that as a leg, but it is a 4 a.m. Johnson. But imagine hitting the first three legs and then having an a Sim fucking fuzzy ball play taking you home, waking up to 10 racks. Think of that. If Seeger turns green, I'm giving away some money, dude. I promise. Prendy, what's up? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Doing all right. We got hooked on Luca yesterday. He hooked every single line, his points, his rebounds, his assists, and his threes. So mm-hmm. it's uh, unlucky. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I'm looking at the spreadsheet, and I don't see anybody pitch Jalen Brunson today. Um, I'm taking his points at over 30 and a half. Um, they, still, they can still get to the second seed if they win out and some of these higher – or some of these lower seed teams start losing. Um, Jalen Brunson has 36% usage over his last 10 games. That's higher than Luka, um, higher than SGA, higher than Jokic. Just dude, just playing a good ball. And I, I think he, I, you know, I think the Knicks are going to want to win this game. So I like his points. Okay. Brunson over 30 and a half points. Yeah. Let's go, Prendy. Is there? Let's get it. All right. We'll be seeing Goat. Noble. With a potential tuck me in spot here. What's up, Goat? Yo, what's up, Trent? How you living, boss? We're great, man. Excited to hear what you have because I need some nukes. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm right now uh, sweating out Astros money line over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't take that moosh piss wager. Um, but uh, I got uh, the Knicks tonight. 
Um, I had I took him at two and a half, so you get a Same. much better closing line value on it than I got him at. So get him at the money line at plus a hundred. They're going to win this game tonight. Um, I doubt the Celtics are really going to play a lot of their stars significant minutes in all honesty. And if they do, I don't think they're going to play that hard. The Knicks, um, just like um, Prendy just said, like th this is a game that they can really win to get the two seed and then also just secure the three seed. So there's still a lot of incentive there. We know Tom Thibodeau is going to play these starters 40 plus minutes. OG Ananobi needs to get back into a rhythm a little bit before playoff time. So there's no reason for me why the uh, Knicks are going to lose this game. So take the closing line value, get them at the plus value. Um, they're going to win this game outright. So uh, that's the POD. Okay. I love that. Uh, yes. the Knicks, I have them at minus two and a half too. So GG. Yeah, it's all good. So we'll, we'll sweat that out together, but they, they, they win this game by five plus. So we'll be straight. All right, let's fucking go. <laughs> all right, bro. Let's have a day, man. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. BCs, BCs. Chat, is this real? Is this real? Hold on. Let me DM this to someone. Um, hold on one second. Who can I DM? Who can I DM? Phil's? Oh, it's always Phil's, bro. Is this fucking actually real? <laughs> bro. No. <laughs> are you fucking kidding no way dude it was from Passan that's crazy bro someone's definitely photoshopping my face on that as we speak Shelliard. I see like we're I feel like we're starting to see Shelly actually lock the fuck in as of recent. Could be big for morale. Two plays, two winners. Uh going with the under six in the Detroit Penguins game. Huh. Um Penguins power plays absolutely fucking moose shit. They had five last game, they didn't score a fucking goal on it. Or against the Leafs, they didn't score a goal on it. This is gonna be another one of those games. Detroit's been struggling to score as of late. Obviously, they're trying to make this playoff push. This is going to be a playoff-like game with a lot of heavy hitting. Another slow-paced. I'll also be on the first period under here. That's that. And a prop on prize picks that I genuinely have been eyeing down for the last two weeks. All right? I don't know if you're going to like it, but Jaden Schwartz is not getting a hit tonight. Jaden Schwartz on the Seattle Kraken is not getting a hit tonight. He's up for half a hit. Since he's been back from injury, he's hit in three games out of 10. He's gotten a hit in three games out of 10. He is not getting a hit tonight against the Sharks. These guys do not, do not. And I know what you're about to say, two weeks for your half a hit prop, whatever. Teams against the Sharks, for whatever reason, the Sharks are just never getting a lot of hits. It's just a not competitive game for whatever reason. It's obviously probably because they're the Sharks, but they're not physical games especially in a meaningless game towards the end of the year. Jaden Schwartz is 31 years old. He's just coming back from injury. He's hitting this 30% since coming back from injury. Now he has a matchup against the Sharks. Are you kidding me? This dude isn't going to fucking hit shit. This dude isn't hitting shit tonight. Put that in any entry you want. He's not getting hit. I respect the fuck out of it, Shelly. I respect the fuck out of it. Even though it's sketchy as fuck, you're coming on here bricked up. Two-week lab work sesh. Let's fucking I'm go. I'm 4-0 in my last four play of the days so wow that's all that matters is that i'm on the right track and i'm i'll take the chairs hey we'll, we'll give you a round of applause just for fucking labbing up something surgical man dude i don't need your fucking hand me out biscuits <laughs> uh, i'm just trying to cope because apparently bert uh apparently ricky fowler just hit a 65 foot birdie so so did you uh yeah. I'm done with Josh, man. I've been done with Josh. I'm actually so out on Josh. I can't I've been done with Josh for years, man. Like, this is not news.
<laughs> we're celebrating labbing now. <laughs> <laughs> I, but seriously, John, I I will put out like a, a four man entry tonight. But Jaden Schwartz does not have a hit. Like I I guarantee you, they're playing the Sharks tonight. Don't overthink it. Kadri didn't get one last time they played. I've been eyeing this down for two weeks. I've been paying attention to this. Okay. I'm excited, dude. I'm going to tail your four, man. Sounds good. All right. We'll be seeing. We'll be. Peace. Let's go. Uh, Chat, can I get reactions to that? Reactions? Are you buying in? Are you buying in? Chalk? Chat. Also, I don't know what the fuck you guys did yesterday. I don't. I don't know what happened. I don't know what you guys did, but you you did something to disrespect Kells, and that's not cool. So, uh, send her your condolences because you pissed her off, and I don't know what she did, or I don't know what you did. So, be better. Be better. For fuck's sakes. I don't even know what the fuck happened, bro. But just be better. <clears throat> I don't know who was mean to her, man. Someone said something. But whatever, let's craft. Let's craft a whale. JT Miller was so free, too. And we fucking tailed that shit. I need to relax. The fuck? What? Why do I need to relax? What did I do? All right, chat. A Nimmo nuke just happened. Shut the fuck up. Plus EV optimizers need to hang them up. Bro, I'm not begging you to do shit. All right. I'm just letting you know whatever you guys did wasn't chill. Uh, so don't do that again. All right. So let's get in the lab and craft up a fucking whale. I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> Stop. All right. Hear me out. Sabonis assist. Put it in. Put it in. Sabonis assist. Put it in. Or, or, or before I jump gun on Sabonis. Before I jump gun on Sabonis. Let's hold on that. Home run. HR? Oh, HR. Dude, don't be saying HR. I think that's home run. Um, no, I was I was jumping gun. I was jumping gun. I jumped gun. Lauren? Lauren. You had mentioned earlier about Bryce Harper. The fakest Jordan home run I've ever seen, bro. You're getting in the... You're gone, dude. Colton M. Hold on. Let me stop crafting so I can put Colton M in the fucking rat piss bin. Oh, he's already in bin. Fucking rat piss, dude. Uh, Lauren. Bryce Harper. Lefty versus Jared Jones, Bryce Harper. Okay. I think that could be our one baseball leg. Can that be it? Should that be it? I think so. Bryce Harper fantasy. It is the popular play of the day, but there's two games. What do you expect? Fantasy. People fading the goat. Oh, wait, are they fading him? 
Oh, my fills. They're for sure fading him, bro. Lauren. Yeah, we're taking it, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way this is on the popular tab because they're taking the over. There's zero, zero chance. Yeah. All right. You guys are more labbed up than I am. First leg, Bryce Harper. Question, Phils. Phils. Is it hit run RBI? Or is it is it fantasy? Lauren and Phils. Is it hit run RBI or fantasy? Lauren says hit run RBI. Phils. Herd of goats says bases, but we don't have that. Yeah, it goes back to the BC days, man. Tail old as time. I don't think it matters. I think he hits a home run. HR and R it is. HR and R it is. I love HR and R, dude. I love HR and R's. They get me bricked. All right, that's our one MLB guys here. I think we go with Larkin time on ice. Larkin TOI. I, I, I hear you, Yeti. I hear you. I understand your concerns. I know, Lauren. It's it's actually so AIDS. I I hear your concerns about TOI, but he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Yeah, it's got to be Brunson, dude. It's got to be Brunson. Let's go. Let's go to the NBA. Brunson shots attempted. Where is that? Larkin TOI Sabonis assist Brunson field goal, dude. That might be it. That might be it, dude. That's it, Rito. Rito. <laughs> Brock D, Hawaiian bros. Yeah, you're welcome. Rito, you might have done it, dude. And by might, we did. Bryce Harper, Brunson, Sabonis. Dude, I fucking love this. I'm sorry, Yeti. But I'm going to trust Justin Hulky Green out to Kobe. I know, dude. Ricky Fowler is, might win the Masters. Quick pulse check on the eyeballs. This looks damn good, bro. Let me see if Kels DM me her POD because she said she was going to. Don't overthink it. Matthew scores and he gets the assist and he's talking about Tyler Batuzzi. That could be a max. Whoa, whoa. DJ fits back for the full card. Not the full card, just the edit on my play. My bad. I forgot I don't do full games. So Sacramento Kings first half minus 0 0.5. First halfers? Yeah, that's what I want the leaderboard play to be. Minus Kings first half. Okay. Five and on the last five and on the last five. Same reason as well. Pelicans no beat Graham. All right, let's fucking go, DJ Fitzarelli. Cash better, let's cash. We'll be seeing. It's hot. It's always something. Eyeballs. It looks really good on the eyeballs. I'm locking it in, bro. I feel cool and calm and collected about it. If I had to guess who cakes it, it's probably Larkin. Dude, could you imagine?
Lauren, when's the last time you've done one of these, man? <laughs> I would love, I would have more fun sweating Lauren putting a rack on a PP entry than I would myself. Yeah, I know. Saboner gets owned by Valanciunas, but that's why he's going to be dishing rock. On New Year's, when I hit that two-legger, what was that two-legger again? What was the two-legger? Jordan at dish. Let's go there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Milro. Jordan just spawned in. Oh, uh, Phil's. Oh, in play, no out for Jordan. In play, no out. Not in play run, sadly. Um, all right. Oh, it was an error. Oh, chalk it. When does Seeger come up next? Y'all are about to find out why I hate Dallas sports. All right, I'm staying on for Seeger's next at bat. Um, I mean, today's Fugazi 5 is, is rat shit. Secret Fugazi 5, though? Secret Fugazi 5, Leafs, Stars. Dude, I'm not even, I'm not even adding a Fugazi 5, bro. I'm not even going to place that. I'm not placing this. I'm not placing that. I have enough straight bets today. The slate today is disgusting. Uh, my straight bets, though, Skywalker. Whoa, let's go, Achilles. Achilles. Um, my straight bet, Skywalker. Orioles money line. Um, Kings minus one and a half. Knicks minus two and a half. Azuna a dish. Oh shit, Lauren. All right, I'll sweat this with you. Come on, Ozuna. I can't even score app it because the score app is fucked on that game. All right, I'm here. I'm on the real app. Come on, LC. Come on, LC. Uh, my other picks. Yep, you got them all. W Skywalker. I want to see a blue ball from from Ozuna. Oh no! It was when I placed it back to Malik. All right, Seeger's up to bat. Lauren, 2-2 two, two count. Can you guys hold on to Lauren while I go while I go to Seeger? Because this is really important. Seeger's gonna spawn. Come on, Corey. I would do anything, bro. I'll never chirp. Dallas or Texas sports again. I will literally become a Texas sports fan for life. And O2. And he's for sure going to strike out to JP fucking Sears for the second time today. Ball. Ozuna in the Battle of Burgundy. All 
All right, two two count. Shut up, Rito. Ozuna walk, Lauren. Somebody grab me our broom ski, please. Because the boys might have just clean swept the board, and by we might, we did. Crabs, how much you think your pool bobblehead is worth? I said this when I got it. Um, just an AI, you know, bobblehead, just like a stock bobble, is probably worth more. Um, I mean, they couldn't give away all those bobbles. What a joke. We need under 5.1. I hate Texas sports. Fucking cat shit, dude. Now you know why. Because they fucking never win me coin. Ever. Um, Achilles, are we are we cooked? Yeah, we're cooked, bro. Um, all right. Yeah, GG. All right, I have that fucking whale prize pick entry, boys. Lock that in with me and sweat that out tonight, please. Lock that in and sweat that out. Is Duval safe? Whoa, whoa, Lauren, I'll stay on for you. Yeah, he's 30 feet away out of the woods. Oh, yeah, we're done, dude. If we have his, if we have his under, bro, he, he hits that off a tree and it ricochets backwards. All right, Lauren, let's see if we can get you tucked in here. Oh, Lauren. Wait, wait, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's safe. Oh, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're still alive. You're safe. Marcelo Zuna's at second. Dude, I saw a blue ball. I saw a blue ball. Oh, my God. And Michael Harris spawned in 02. Lauren, I'm so fucking sorry. I don't have, I'd like, I'm so sorry, dude. Are you fucking serious? I got. Oh my God, Lauren, in play, no out, but no run. In play, no out, but no run. Oh my God, dude. Lauren, please. Bases are yoinked. How does Phil's not wing them around? Arcia or Lauren, I'm afraid Arcia is really bad at baseball. But I'm going to have positive vibes here for you. Arcia is really bad at baseball. I just want Lauren to splooge, man. It's a mound visit. It's a mound visit. Chill out. Lauren, don't read chat. Whatever you do, do not read chat. She's going to read chat. Yeah, yeah. She's She doesn't have the discipline. So Ozuna's on third. A walk here would be astronomical. Ball one. 
Oh, Curtis Painter finds the corner for a strike one. Oh, foul ball. Don't do this to Lauren, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. At least go down with a fight. Put up some... Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. That's a literal miss. That's literal miss. I'm sorry, Lauren. Will you at least lock in something with Bryce Harper to get the coin back? I know you will. I'm sorry, Lauren. We'll get it back tonight. Fuck, man. We still love you. We still love you. Um, all right, chat. It's been an absolute pleasure. Let's make some coin among some clam. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. <laughs> Mikey Overs, man. Uh, Rizzy Raid, I promised a random name today. Let's go to Nick. Put away the broomskis. Nick playing James Bond. I just want someone who appreciates it, man. What about Nick playing Silly Fall Guys? Oh, I'm sending you to this guy. We'll be seeing, boys. He said he's playing his last game. Yeah, I fucking bet. No, you're not. <laughs> 